Is this off the new EP? <laughs> Fucking guy. <laughs> why? Why? Exactly. Wait, I, I know why though. I know why. And I love it. I like the fact. Black cats in the voodoo doll. I like the fact that he's doing this to me. I don't. <laughs> you know why? What? I'm gonna explain. I'm gonna explain. Please do. Uh, well, well, we gotta we gotta give Ricky Martin his. We gotta his, give him a shine. His due, right? His flowers. Let, Yo, let the hook come in, though. I think you guys need to respect Ricky Martin. Because this is a fucking jam. I mean... I mean <laughs> to make you take it's your like clothes it's not off and go I mean, we, dancing we, we in the rain. We kind of said the same thing. I mean... <laughs> it is, though. It's not It's not, not the jam. But, like, to the time and the place. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if ever. Come here. on! <laughs> Anything goes here. <laughs> Living la vida loca. I love it, man. What, what, what year uh, did this come out? That's a good uh, question. Uh, you know what? I'm going to guess. Go ahead. I'm going to say it was the year 19... 19- 97 Convos at the Condo Episode 97 I am Razzy in the building Definitely in the building With me forever My two co-podcasters Rich That's Big Mike All up on the mic Fuck yeah Yeah And the reason that Rich plays Living the Vida Loca By Ricky Martin for me Is because And this is why I think um, So a little Christmas magic. A little Christmas magic. Jangle, jangle. <laughs> so I text him. Jingle, jangle. <laughs> I text him. <laughs> That's definitely the, the, the soccer song, right? It's yes, a, it is. <laughs> Do you really want it? Yeah. What, what FIFA yeah. was this on? FIFA? Um, ole, ole, ole. What FIFA was that? That's a good question. <laughs> Ole, ole, I have no clue. Ole. I wish I had what's what's those fucking horns called? The fucking uh, <laughs> the Zuma, whatever that the Zuma fools. What are they called? They called some, yeah, one of them shits. I wish I had one of them. Nah, the best part about going to a soccer game uh, is when the you're there with Mexico, right? Mm. Mexico. You're on the Mexico side. Okay. And they they go. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. I love being called a culero. <laughs> my, my Mexican uh, godfather, he, uh, I went to, when I was living with him, he showed me a, a game he was watching, and I was just, what, are they saying culero? Yeah. He's like, yeah. Culero. <laughs> yeah, culero. for sure. They loved it, too. The they whole are, fucking living room was all about yep. it. We got to give uh, Ricky Martin his flowers, man. Yeah. Ah oh, damn! <laughs> I almost said. Good thing I didn't. Do you now? I feel like he hates not being able to drive the car and bump this. He has to bump it in the comfort of his living room. You know what? Like I, I think if I had like a convertible, a dude sucking my dick, I would bump this. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> This is definitely get top in the front seat by a dude music. <laughs> what sucks is you can't say slow, slow, slow. <laughs> no, fast, fast, fast. <laughs> wait, wait. Say it again. What did you say? Fast, fast, fast. Pause, pause. Pause the song. Pause everything. I'm well, turning. started it. I'm turning the title off completely. I don't want to hear shit. Shit, I should have peed before the podcast. I don't know if I got to pee or got to come. <laughs> oh, man. It's probably a little bit of both. It's, it's like when a girl squirts. Yeah, we're missing. It's both. <laughs> Is it pee? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Gary got a squirt. The schmegma. <laughs> Yo, when what episode was that when we got introduced? Gary got shmegma? a pull back. Remember Kenny? Yeah. You got a pull back. Was that his name? Kenny. Kenny? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I forgot who would tell me that shit. It was an algebra two though. <laughs> was a, How do you know? You got a pull back. And I was Probably like, Kenny. What's a pull back? When you pull your dick skin back. <laughs> yeah, I, got, I, got. <laughs> and, and, I ain't gonna lie, friend. <laughs> I, ain't gonna, I ain't gonna front. Coincidentally, Gary dressed like his dick today. <laughs> you got a pool back. Pink as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, is, is, is yours pink? Because mine's yeah. darker than me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got one of those, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. 
<laughs> you dick look like Mike? Because he's kind of darker than you, you know? Yeah, hey, actually, my dick is Mike. <laughs> <laughs> he's just there. The what colorful show. show. Oh, it's a, oh, no! no. Why, 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 why do you think we always come together? <laughs> Siamese twins. He's, he's underneath the table. He's Siamese like, dicks. Yeah, man. <laughs> Siamese dicks. That would like be the, fucking weird. Like the uh, evangelist in uh, The Boys. <laughs> when he stretches his dick and it's like getting topped off by like three dudes. You know what's gross? Oh, though? shit. I yeah. saw that actually. You know what? Uh, as much as gross shit as they show on uh, The Boys, you know what I find the grossest? And it's like weird. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> when they show uh, Homeboy's gills. Oh yeah, <laughs> that shit grosses me out every time. And then like girl, the the homegirl just like digs her uh, hands in his gills. Yeah, yeah. Like bitch, that's like putting your hands in my lungs. Yeah. When he gets his back, remember? Because the first episode, he made homegirl uh, give him top, and she's she's in the in the bathroom throwing up. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but what? You don't know? Yeah, uh, I remember that. That, yeah. that he gets his back. Oh, oh yeah. shit! Like, yeah. What the fuck? The world is weird. Why is Ricky Martin on the screen? Yeah. That's so weird, bro. <laughs> Google's listening all the time. Always. I'm all scared the time. as fuck. There's you no said it. You, you, you say something and then the ad on Instagram There's will be no right reason there. for YouTube to play Ricky Martin right now. No, there's a reason for Sofia Vergado. Vergado? No. Verga? Vergado. Vergado. Yo, she's like, uh, I think she's 50. Oh, Do- shit. Doesn't 50. even look Something it. like it. 50 in a scale from 1 to 10. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> that was so corny, bro. <laughs> bro shout out to Sofia Vergara. Vergara. Vergara con la verga. Vergara, dude. He's so horny. <laughs> so, but you gotta get la verga. Yo, what, what, are, what are some other 50 year olds that you're into? J Lo. Yeah, and and, and a, Alex knows. Alex knows. Anytime, like, uh, anytime J Lo posts one of those thirsty pics, you in there? I, I, I shoot it at Alex <laughs> <laughs> before you like it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Was this the Menudo classic? <laughs> what the? That is, that is a, a Ricky Martin classic. Yo, that's that's the clean your house on Saturday morning classic. Yeah, yeah man. nah, you know what? The oh, like, make, she used to make me scrub walls. <laughs> What's wrong with her? <laughs> <laughs> nah, you gotta make no. You know what? Oh my god! Because I don't know if you do this to your, to your child, but like, do you just make up shit for them to do just yes. to leave you alone? That's half the fun. <laughs> yeah, like. I, I would picture, I think my parents did that to me, like, made me scrub walls yeah. just because, all right, give him a fucking task so he leaves me the fuck alone for five minutes. Yeah, I told her, organize your desk. Yeah. She has nothing on there but toys. I was like, yo, organize your desk. <laughs> Clean up around here a little bit. Yeah, I, I would give her all types of weird ass projects all the time. And the other day, I think I told her uh, she had to uh, vacuum the hallway. <laughs> Which, why? Do you, just the hallway. There's no carpet. <laughs> Bro, that shit is three feet. <laughs> no reason. The vacuum is one foot. You step in in that bedroom, I said the hallway. Yeah, you man. wanted a dog, right? <laughs> <laughs> you look at all this fur. Yeah. It has to do with everything. Yeah. Arrange your desk. You wanted a dog, right? <laughs> yeah. Every time. Yo, I use that dog a lot. Yeah? Yeah, I use it all types of excuses. She's, Cause she's like, oh, I think he needs to go out. Well, unless you're gonna take him, uh-huh. don't tell him outside. Cause my dog, as soon as you say outside, he knows and he runs to the door and he's ready to go. And if you don't take him, he'll, piss, him. he'll piss on the door. Fuck. Now, Just raise his leg, little dot. I ain't gotta pee, but yo, fuck it. He's a dickhead. He'll come up, scratch my leg, whine, talk about he needs to go out, and I'm working. I'm like, all right, give me five minutes. I talk to him like he like he understands me. I'm like, yo, give me, like- I'm like, let me just finish what I'm doing right now. I know you gotta go. Give me a second. He's like, <laughs> scratching at me. I'm like, yo, chill. And then I'll go back to work. I'll be working. He'll go up like right by his little kennel. He has like a little mat. He'll walk up there and just, <laughs> fuck you. I'm peeing right here, right now. At least it's on the mat. Dogs just be wanting attention though. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. Like, That's why like. Uh, more now, I'd probably get a cat instead of a yeah? dog. Yeah? Oh, nah. Fuck That's cats. the lazy pet, though. That, yeah. Cats well, don't do shit. Also, cats always look like they're plotting against you. <laughs> so I don't trust cats. And and when they jump on you, they, they, they use their claws to stick yeah. on. So their claws go through jeans. You got to be able to be able to groom your fucking cat very often if you're going to have a cat. That's one. Th- yeah, it's a, it's a lazy animal, but like mm-hmm. you got to have some upkeep for the hair and for the fucking nails. That's... I think the nails is a big thing. I've cat sitted for my cousin. She has four cats, and the nails was a big fucking deal Damn. for me. Well, you know what? Uh, 
dogs are fucking attention whores because yeah. the dog at my mom's house, Loki, he he comes and climbs up on me, and like I'm like, and why do I only give a baby voice, a Goo Goo Gaga voice to dogs, but not babies? <laughs> never, never. I always talk to children and and babies like a fucking man should, yeah. like a not, that's not, what like you're missing out. Should. That like, is weird. Like like a like a person person to person conversation, yeah. Yeah. but to dogs, I'd be like, oh, you gotta go pee. Like I was telling him, you gotta go pee. You gotta go pee. I'll let you out. And my mom's like, nah, he already peed. He just wants attention. This motherfucker. <laughs> you're fucking up. I, I yeah. give a baby voice to anyone who hears. Nah, you talk like Mickey Mouse <laughs> to all the anybody time. Who'll anyone hear. that listens. Oh, you wanna go out high, buddy? <laughs> No. And hey it's boy. a it's a whole person. Hey boy, <laughs> you know you're supposed to talk to to children like they're actual people. No, nah, but that's not fun. Really, you read this in a study? Yeah, that like yeah, a study. I, I, I get that. It helps with like their speech development and all that. But fuck that, they're kids. True. Nah. They goo goo gaga. I goo goo gaga. Back. I will never do that. <laughs> not even to my own kids. You're saying that now. I said that too. But as soon as K came out, I was like, uh, oh, you do you I think I don't. I don't think I ever baby talked K dot even when she was a baby. It was always yeah. I baby talk her now. Yeah. I think that's she hates it. But that's a parent thing too. She so. hates that shit. I do it on purpose now. Kids like me because I will talk to them. I will speak to <laughs> they them. They respect you. Yeah. He respects me, that guy over there. Yeah. <laughs> so they'll come and speak to me and So you think that's why Beam pees, pees on shit? Because he doesn't respect me? Pretty much. Because <laughs> I baby talk him. He's yeah. like, man, I'm gonna take a dump right in the middle of your living room. <laughs> no, bro. it's true. I've seen animals when you have, when you have a, ho- a household that's pretty full and you have some people that Talk to the dog not like a baby, and the people that Man, talk to the dog like a baby. I'm mad at him. Like now. they'll 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 respect the person that talks to them normal and be like, "All right, that motherfucker's going. He don't play. He or she doesn't play." But when somebody comes to a baby talk, I don't give a fuck. I'm a jump. I'm a pee. I'm gonna do everything. Well, that's one good thing about him is that he has not shit in my house since he's been going out. Like I, it was good that he went on the mat. It's not like he was a dick and just some pee right in your fucking leg that I nah, scratched. Nah, but he, he was still he was still. Uh, <laughs> Trying to send me a message. <laughs> it was a message. Like, I, I speak dog. A little vindictive ass. His birthday is in two days. Oh, oh shit. That's to him. How does that make you feel? Happy I, birthday. So do you do human years or dog years? I have no idea. Honestly, I only know because uh, the, the, the chick and the kid told me. Uh, they're like, it's Bean's birthday in two days. I'm like, oh, for real? It's seven years already? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> and, and, and they're like, we got to get him like a cake and some treats. I'm like, he doesn't give a shit about any of that. You know dog years? Yeah, it's seven years. It's one year for a yeah, dog. Yeah. He'd much rather chew a comb, or <laughs> for some, sure, or a pen or a marker. Nah, I mean, I think he'd appreciate because dogs, you can't give them just any type of chocolate, right? Will they die? Uh, that's I a myth. Is that I, a myth or think, is that like confirmed? It's not good for them. Yeah, I don't think they'll die. Yeah, die. No. It's 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 beans too, right? So you can't give bean beans. I can't give bean beans. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I never tried. But this motherfucker. He'll always find the thing he's not supposed to find, and he'll always chew on it. He'll find a pen. Some I don't know how he finds pens yeah, and pencils. Gucci probably. belt. Nah, he, I don't have. I don't live. I don't live with, live with Randy. Um, but, uh, shouts to Randy. Shouts to Randy. Um, but he, he'll find case pencils. He'll find like a chapstick somewhere. He'll like just find shit he's not supposed to chew on. But his toys, mm-hmm. he's just sitting on his fucking bed. Like, bro, you got shit to play with. What are That's you doing? irritating. What are you eating my shit for? You know what's what's actually uh, bless you irritating to me besides sneezing. Um, <laughs> I knew do that. Fucking hate sneezing. No, I knew you were gonna do that. <laughs> um, fucking, you said uh, chapstick. When I take out my clothes from the dryer oh. and there's a fucking chapstick just in the clothes, Ugh. melted, melted. Ah, oh, shit, that irritates me. Dumbass. And. Uh, at 3 a.m., I texted you on Saturday night. You did? Or so it was basically Sunday morning, and I said, you're a piece of shit. I thought our friendship was over. You're a piece of shit because you recommended Jangle Jangle. Jangle and, Jangle. And now I have to sit through this bullshit of a story. Which was fire. And watch it because now Alex is invested because she found out it's a musical. And she knows it's fire. And she's like... Oh, Rich said it was good. Oh, no. I was like, Rich said it was good, so let's watch it. Oh, it's a musical. They're singing. And I'm just like, ah, Little did you guys know, I love musicals. Well, yeah. I love bitches (laughs) because bitches are me. Wait, I said that wrong. (laughs) I said that completely wrong. You you, you said it the right way because you didn't want to say it the original way. (laughs) Oh, yeah. I love (laughs) it. 
Oh, oh, no. oh, oh me. <laughs> nah, stop. <laughs> what does that mean, by the way? I don't know. Because brothers are me. Brothers. Because ninjas are me. Just I should have said ninjas. A bunch of different words that could fit in there. I love. I love, I love saying the ninjas, but you know. All right, so you watch Jingle Jangle. Fuck all that shit. Did you see it all the way through? Yes. Well, I fell asleep. Did you see the cute ass robot? No, Wally. Oh, uh, come on, man. So, and granted, in, in Rich's defense, the uh, second number, Black the, actors, the second song, is a Lizzo type character who's trying to get into. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> why is she a Lizzo type character, though? <laughs> you know why. <laughs> because she's trying to get. Well, BBW, into- <laughs> baby. <laughs> Woo! And she's trying to get into uh, Forrest Whitaker's pants. Mm. And her song was which, the best part of the whole Which has movie. never, ever been said ever in life. <laughs> <laughs> ever. I'm trying to get into Forrest Whitaker's pants. I'm trying to get into Forrest's force. <laughs> yeah. Who, fuck wants- <laughs> <laughs> who wants to fuck somebody with a lazy eye? I want to see that Redwood. <laughs> Nobody wants to fuck anybody with a lazy eye. No. You, you want to see this while you fucking? The whole time? The whole time? <laughs> you do that very well. I wish the camera would just... Zoom in. <laughs> Zoom in. Force Remem- Whitaker. Force Whitaker face. Remember. <laughs> <laughs> Note to self. <laughs> Note to self. <laughs> nah, nobody wants to fuck anybody with a, with a lazy eye. But so she did. Like it, huh? Hey, they say Biggie had all the bitches. So. Yeah. Biggie. And you, I no, I, I uh, did. Yo, he not... fucked the shit out of little Kim on Notorious. Yeah, he did. And then she moved on to power. And she got fucked all over power. Yo, Notori Naughton, is that her name? Yeah, there you go. Yo, she fucked everybody. Everybody? Notori not Naughty. Did huh? she fuck Tommy? No, she didn't fuck Tommy. But she did fuck uh, a ghost. ghost. She fucked uh, the driver. The, uh-huh. She fucked uh, the lawyer. 50 Cent's son, yeah, the yeah, driver. And yeah, and she fucked uh, her lawyer. Wait, she <laughs> fucked Turtle? No, no, no. Oh, she, no, no. The, the, yeah, the, her her boyfriend, the lawyer. Yeah, her lawyer. She yeah. fucked him. I think she fucked one. Oh, some dude that came to her daycare. She fucked him. Yeah. Uh, I think I stopped after that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you should have stopped because she just kept fucking. Yeah. She, she's like a she's fucking. She's still fucking get right now. Fucking. She, she, you watch Power Book? <laughs> yeah, Power Book 2. Oh, Power Book she's two, still sure. fucking. She's, she's fucking in jail. I'm sure. I'm sure. Actually, I did start watching it. It's uh, not bad. No? I watched it for Method Man. Oh, okay. In Wu-Tang Forever, you know what I mean? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, so Jingle Jangle, you didn't fuck with it, huh? No, no, no. I, I, have you seen it? No, I don't plan to. I highly recommend it. Nah, after him. I just didn't like it how he doesn't like musicals. He I didn't like musicals? how it was dubbed at first, but then I got into it. Unfortunately, yeah, I was give it tired. a shot. I fell asleep. If you like so. Christmas movies, uh, check out Jingle Jangle. I highly recommend it. I give it uh, uh, four uh, movie reels. You had something else? Did you end up finishing Hamilton? Not yet. Okay. I did finish, but you actually like Hamilton. I did finish uh, I like freestyle, Hamilton, but not Jingle Jangle. I well, I haven't, I haven't. Well, they're rapping in in Hamilton. Yeah. Oh. So, uh, I, and because it's such an event, I want to finish it. Plus, I did finish uh, Freestyle Love Supreme, and now I'm into it. I did finish the Netflix series. I didn't get to see that one. Uh, Song Exploder, and uh, oh, okay. Uh, Lin Manuel has a uh, episode on there talking about. Uh, the not why do I want to say Bill Burr? What's his name? Uh, the uh, protagonist in the story of Hamilton, Aaron Burr. Aaron Burr. Aaron Burr. <laughs> no, not Bill Burr. Aaron Burr. <laughs> uh, he has a song that Aaron. Uh, it's on Song Exploder on Netflix. He talks about um, the the song that uh, Aaron Burr sings. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Which I, is like the biggest song supposedly. I don't know. What, what's, Alexander Hamilton. Yeah. Have, you haven't seen that episode yet? I have. Oh no, not that episode. No, it's cool. It's cool. What's crazy is like not not too much of this conversation because you didn't really watch it. But mm-hmm. Aaron Burr's songs in that in that musical weren't my favorite. There were so many other good songs in that in that musical. Anything the King sang. Yeah, the King was definitely at the top. The girl, the the, the Skyler sisters was definitely dope. And um, Lin Manuel had some good ones. But anything Aaron Burr sang, I wasn't really with it. Did you learn anything? Uh yeah, I learned a couple things. I actually tried to Google like to see if it was because you know you don't yeah like all the characters were white in real life, but that made me want to Google and see okay was it was it things that he wanted to put because of the music or was it all factual? But he just put the music in there and you wanted to know if if Hamilton was Puerto Rican. I did do that. (laughs) I did do that when I when when that was one of the first things. I think it was you. I don't know who I was talking to that said it. 
I think it was you who said it because I was telling you that I saw it like 10 times. And he mentioned he was Puerto Rican. I was like, let me yeah. go see so, how real this like is. Like I said, I watched that shit, uh, Freestyle Love Supreme. That's where they all got their uh, start. The yeah, director of Hamilton. Whole group, all of them, yeah. The uh, Lin-Manuel who wrote Ham- Hamilton and took him five years to write That's Hamilton. That's so crazy, man. And uh, there's this uh, the another member who who is like Hamilton's right hand man. He's on the troop. oh yeah, yeah. and uh, there's uh, George this Washington. In, there's yeah. Indian dude. Yeah, the Indian dude. Yeah, I didn't he was even supposed know how... to be on uh, Dope on Hamil- Hamilton. No, uh, <laughs> he's from Deadpool. Kumar? My, uh, my bad. He's from Deadpool. <laughs> Shout out to Dope Pinder. <laughs> Yo, he was the best guys. taxi driver ever. <laughs> he stuck around. I like that guy. <laughs> I like Dope Pinder. <laughs> Uh, this dude was supposed to be on on Hamilton, who was uh, Which Lin probably would have been sick. Miranda's friend, and, and then uh, he was supposed to be Bill Burr, Aaron Burr. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> Bill Burr's a redhead. <laughs> yeah. But uh, because of alcoholism, he he did he dropped wow. out. Oh and shit, now, he was and drunk. Then, and then Hamilton blew up. What a wow. dumbass! Yeah, so that's why you should watch fucking freestyle. I watch Shout yeah. out to alcoholism. Yeah, yeah. Nah, not shout out to that. As we take a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Do you All think right. you have a problem? Me? Yeah. Yes. Uh, well, but that's beside the you fact. Talk about it? No. <laughs> okay. Um, we can we can get into it another time because I want you 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 mentioned uh some one of you mentioned birthdays. Oh, I thought we mentioned Rick and Martin. Uh, we we spoke about him. Okay. You know. So, uh, living the vida loca, menudo, yeah, give him all his flowers while he's alive. All of them. Uh, he was a uh, Versace's boyfriend in the show Versace. Was that any good? It was cool. I mean, I didn't finish it. But and you didn't point out he was in Jingle Jangle. Did you point that out? Yes. That's why we played uh, this song, Jangle Jangle. He was a little cute-ass, oh, really? uh, little mannequin. Oh, okay. Was yeah. it not a mannequin? It was like a little puppet. Oh, it was, it was a little... A it was a, the token Latino character? Yeah. No. Yeah. Well, I mean, is that... Well, he was a that token a Latino thing? character because there was only... It was an all-black cast yeah, except for Ricky what, Martin. Yeah, that's what I figured. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's where we are in the rung. The all white cast token black character, all black cast token Latino character. Token Latino. That's where we are I, in the. Yeah, I'll, t- I'll uh, take actually it. though. I would take this uh, token Latino character because he is not. He's actually given something in all uh, all black cast movies. Uh, the Latino character is always like the gardener. He's uh, they, comic they, relief they ta- touch comic shit. relief. They tell him to make the tacos. Too, though. Well, yeah, but they tell him to make the tacos. It's real. <laughs> it's real shitty shit. Yeah, like you know, like they they do Latinos and there's not a respected. Yeah, yeah. Don't ask him to make tacos, yet. bro. Yeah, especially not with a hard. There's shit. a hierarchy we have to respect. We, we, are, we aren't there yet, but I mean, we're we'll coming get up. Ricky no, Martin's uh, the gate. He's you know, he's uh, crawling so we can walk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Ricky Martin, yo. Give me yo. I'm playing like, let me pick another song. Um, no, but you know what I thought was stupid? Was that in that movie, they like were all like in awe of this robot, right? Yeah. But like they had a whole fucking Ricky Martin toy mm-hmm. that was fully functional, had his own fucking mind. He created that toy. Mm-hmm. That was a way better toy than the robot. Yeah. I think. Oh, definitely. Sell that shit. Well, he didn't want to be mass produced. He wanted to be one of one. Spoilers. Man. <laughs> <laughs> fucking diva <laughs> and there could only be one of me he was a diva though he was a diva yeah. still a diva man shake your bomb bomb Ricky speaking Martin speaking of divas did you know he was gay yes you, he did mention he's crawling well, for, so we could walk <laughs> um, cause we're all gay <laughs> we're all gay in, inside <laughs> we're all fruity outside too Okay, go ahead. Again. <laughs> just, 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 just moving along. Moving we are there. There's our uh, our episode. Shout out to the LGBTQ. I love y'all, right? everyone. Ah. <laughs> Every episode. You know, just so they don't get it twisted. Because, like, I didn't want to post that fucking uh, clip that you did. Because I was like, was I too hard by saying gay shit too much? You know, like I. I <laughs> Should I apologize for that? I don't know, but like this is how I was I raised. I think the bro. only time like, we should ever I'm trying. You, you didn't say anything uh, like mean. I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I, I'm not malicious or mean to anybody. But like I can say some out of line shit, out of bounds shit. You know. So it's like so can everybody. You know. Yeah, but so. let's keep it hundred. The only time people apologize online is because they have income online. Mm-hmm. It's not like you're just apologizing because you don't have yeah. any following, but somebody on your Fucking comment. It's like us right now. I'm not gonna apologize until Why people start. Shit? 
Until people start listening to the podcast. Yeah. Once they start listening, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I'll be PC as fuck. That's yeah. what I'm saying. But like, until then, suck my dick. Yeah, like right now, if we actually put an apology, it would be stupid. Oh, like it's scary. Because like nobody's <laughs> really like, yeah. <laughs> nah, I actually real. had him here for you just in case, but go oh, I got, I got him. I got him. <laughs> uh, you, uh, get top from Ricky Martin. Would I get top from slow, 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 slow? slow. <laughs> Use them hips. <laughs> <laughs> I saw Vida Loca. <laughs> I know what you're capable of. <laughs> you got the gold pants. Did you just like really <laughs> oh, unlock, la, 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 unlock la, la, all like loca. fucking that that was what the, like Vida Loca was for? Because he was coming out? That was his coming out song? It had to be. <laughs> it had to be. What else was it for? Yeah. Well, I don't think he was gay yet. No, he was. He was. What do you no, mean? we heard him. You don't think he was gay yet? <laughs> no, like out in the public. Oh, like, I was like, nah, pretty, I thought, like when I first saw that, pretty I was sure like, he still oh, was. oh, Ricky Martin got all the bitches. Ricky Martin, Ricky Martin out here. Balking, Little like, did we know. He was just sitting them home at the end of the night. Yeah. Like, all right, ladies, goodbye. And he's like, okay, enough of you bitches. Sending the driver. <laughs> he, he gets mad. He sounds like a dude from uh, from Bad Boys. Bunch of bitches. <laughs> <laughs> he's sending, sending the dudes. <laughs> Yo, now these bitches went sending the dudes. <laughs> Yo, if I was gay, that's how I'd be. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. like, yo, now get these bitches out of here. Send in the dudes. Send in Let's fucking... go. Tris, 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 Tris. Pack in the back in the back of the act. That's nah, two it's... episodes straight of Tris, though. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta do it. That's another... We're gonna Hell put that yeah. on a t-shirt. Um, next. <laughs> no, but like, speaking of... Um, Trizzes. Speaking of birthdays, you did mention birthdays for... Some reason. Ten minutes ago. Oh, because it's Bean's birthday. Bean's birthday tomorrow. Shout out to him. Seven so, years uh, old. did did uh, James Harden give Bean a hundred thousand dollars, a two hundred thousand dollar watch, and a duffel bag full of honey buns? He did not, but uh, I wish he did. Because uh, little baby got that. Little baby. Little baby. From who? From James Harden, which is like I didn't know like there were that I uh, apparently uh, that's James Harden's favorite rapper, uh, and so that's why he gave him all this. I guess they're that cool to spend three hundred k. So he gave him a hundred thousand dollars. It's uh-huh. gonna fucking and, show up to practice and just gave out tons yeah. of gifts. Yeah, and okay. two hundred thousand dollars watch. And did you say a hundred thousand dollars worth of? No, no, no. No, not a hundred. I'm about to say <laughs> that's a lot of honey buns. <laughs> yeah. It was just a duffel bag full of honey buns because that's little baby's favorite. Uh, Snack or whatever. I guess diabetes is what that is. Yeah. <laughs> and honey buns, I mean, they're good, they're right? Good, but, they're good. But I mean, I, I prefer like a what? What donut uh, would you like in in a in a duffel bag? I I not honey buns. I'd like an apple fritter. Uh, a bear claw. A bear claw. You know. Yeah, Mike is a bear. Um, you're I, a sprinkle guy. I have one, you? but no, actually, you know what? No, I have one. I, I, I want the raspberry. A, a raspberry filled uh, donut from Randy's. Oh, okay. Randy's Donuts. Hey, you were right there, huh? The yeah, other day? We, on Saturday. What you get? That? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You went to Randy's? Yeah, yeah. You didn't bring me shit? Sorry. Shout out to Randy's. Uh, <laughs> Shout out to Randy, Randy's. too. Hey, Shout out to Randy, belts. too. Uh, <laughs> Shout out to Gucci Belt. <laughs> now, we went there uh, for, for the B-Day celebration, man. That I was high as shit and just, I was like, we going to Randy's for sure. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I had the fucking strawberry. I like the powdered one, though. The powdered one with the fucking, mm, fucking Yo, the serial thing about killer. The, the thing about the powdered donut is that sometimes you're like, is it raspberry filled? You're hoping it's raspberry yeah. filled. But most of the time, the it's powdered, lemon, it's lemon filled. Yeah. And then you're like, ah, fuck. You still eat it though. You're like, I'll take a custard though. Well, the yeah, custard, custard yeah. I lo- look, that's, this, so this is me. Mm. I was custard with the chocolate on top, but as, as the years have gone on, I've switched like, to raspberry. This okay. is just an eclair. <laughs> <laughs> I've been bamboozled. What kind of regular ass shit is this? Yo, how do you feel when you bite into one of those and then uh, like the, the cream squirts in your mouth? I like it. Okie I've never had the... Moving never mind. <laughs> no. <laughs> it might take little bites hey, on purpose. Stay, stay in like, that boat yourself. <laughs> he's like, I'm not trying to get cream pie in this bitch. Yeah, I mean, I'm not choking on it. I'm swallowing it probably. probably. I got a cag reflux. <laughs> <laughs> just gargling fucking donuts like Van Wilder <laughs> when they gargle the dog's oh my cum. God. I have t- <laughs> is that the one where uh, homeboy a little skinny dude fucks a big black chick I think that's so. no that's uh, oh, road that's road trip, road trip. Oh, that you've never seen Van Wilder and you're such a big fan of I Deadpool. have that's, that, it's that, been a while that's Ryan Reynolds oh, I have okay. seen it yeah, yeah it's been a while I don't fucking remember everything from 1999 <laughs> you fucking dickhead <laughs> do, you, do you okay you Shout have your Ryan favorite Reynolds, movies though. do you remember like 
your favorite movie scene by scene, or do you need to rewatch them? Like your actual favorite movie of all like, time. Like I don't remember like dialogue all the way through, but I remember some scenes. It and, depends on the movie, I think. Yeah, like I can't. I could probably. What movie do you think you can quote the most? Little Giants. Little Giants for real? Yeah, I love that okay. movie. I think me is like Super Bad or The Lion King. Super bad too. I can. Yeah. I could probably uh, do the Kill Bill Volume One. Really? Yeah. What the fuck? Okay. That shit's all dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I love. Mike's over here reading scripts and shit. How the fuck but, can you quote that? I, but I, I love. I love his movies. But what's funny is like, there's a lot of movies. Like today, I was watching. I got into the Lord of the Rings trilogy and like. Jesus Christ! You're a glutton for punishment. I love that shit. He's like, uh, I'll watch all Kill Bills, then I'll watch Lord of the Rings because I have 16 hours to kill. Or now. <laughs> Um, no, nah, I was watching the Fuck. second one and <laughs> the opening. Here you go. The opening line, the opening line for the second one, I was like, I, f- I didn't even think that I remembered it, but it, you, you see the character like put his head to the ground and he, and he's like, and I said their pace is quick and, and he said it. I was like, yeah, I'm pretty good. <laughs> I mean, I have random movies that I do that too, but yeah, yeah, I get it, I get it. Um, so we've been like skipping on your transition for like ever. It's cool. It's cool. <laughs> nah, we, we going back and forth. We interweaving here. This, that's all we do. So you know, did you so, have one for the birthday? Did we already discuss it? No, no. Oh, that was that, that was that, James that Harden. That was uh, Lil Baby yeah. and James Harden. But uh, Lil Baby also got in a little bit of uh, alleged trouble. Kind of saw it, but didn't read it. So what happened? No. So the porn star supposedly leaked that he paid her for sex a good amount. Uh, a couple thou hours uh, mm. for sex, but you like know, like fifteen thousand. Was it? Yeah. Oh, well, I, I was gonna say six, but fifteen thousand is a little high. <laughs> it it was, I mean, anything to pay for sex is a little high in my book, but I've well, never had to pay for sex. What she look like? Dog? I now hate strip clubs. You hate strip clubs? Yeah, because well, I don't like to pay for sex. Bachelor party gonna be trash, <laughs> bro. For real, because I don't like strip clubs. I don't like strippers. Like, you are here uh, to take my money, and I know it. <laughs> and I know it. I, don't don't I, tell that to Mike, though. <laughs> Mike was here to give his money. Yeah, like, that's cool. To each Talk his to own. Much. To each his own. Like, Hello. If you like, if you like strippers, hey, bro, I would rather pay for a meal. I would rather pay for my groceries. Like, I got... I mean, it wasn't... For me, it wasn't Can that we go shoot I, guns for your bachelor party, then? <laughs> Let's do something. Yeah. It wasn't necessarily, like, I love strippers. It was just, like, I'm Talk going around. there, strip people. Women are stripping. I'm, I'm, I'm not going anywhere without like any money. That's the mm-hmm. thing is, you, you're going in there knowing what you're doing. Yeah, exactly. So I'm it's like, do it's it. like gambling. Like you know, you're probably gonna lose exactly. money. I don't, I don't like, like to it. gamble. Jesus Christ! This is I like be a boring I, ass bachelor party. I used to like going. How the fuck are you gonna learn how to play poker if you don't like to gamble? I sit. That's what. Oh, that's why <laughs> I would play. If we're not I were teaching you gamble, for shit. <laughs> if I were to gamble, but that's why because that's why I don't know yeah, how to play poker. Yeah, because you don't gamble. Yeah, but I would like to learn, and I used to play blackjack. I've won on blackjack. It's basically just count to twenty one. So I remember easy. Uh, you could barely do that. <laughs> <laughs> I remember uh, our, one of actually our first trip uh, to Vegas. Uh, Ricardo and Trey were playing somewhere else, and I just went to this uh, to the poker table because they were playing blackjack. And I was winning big. And, like, you could see, I could see from, like, where I was that they were kind of losing. I was like, guys, I'm winning over here. But the thing is, for most tables, like, especially, like, if you don't know, if you don't know how to play the game, mm-hmm. like, the dealer's going to win. Or, like, Blackjack, you can definitely control the table with enough people. But they came over and they were so pissed because, like, they lost over there. And then they came to lose here. All the money that I had won, I lost. Oh, shit. I I didn't lose all my money. I just lost the money that I was playing. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, speaking of paying for sex. (laughs) Yeah, so you paid for the handy. (laughs) (laughs) Pretty much. Yo, what's your problem, bro? I didn't say anything else. What the fuck? I'm not talking to you. I didn't say anything. More than enough. I'm talking to Snitchy McSnitcherton over here. I didn't say nothing else. I don't care. Hey, smoke your weed taking the shit. I ain't gonna tell nobody else. And I was second. So? I didn't say anything else. I don't care if I followed a train. Wait, what? Whatever. Whoa. And who cares if I was looking under the door to see if I could see anything? Who cares? Time is it. (laughs) Definitely edit. (laughs) All I'm saying. You know I never edit. And so what if I only had. It's so funny. We've yelled edit since forever and you've never edited. And so Uh what if Trey paid for everything? Whatever. 
Okay. Yeah, you need to. <laughs> <laughs> so and, and that, you busted on your tits and I sucked your nipples. Like whatever. It's not like I sucked his dick, right? That's cool. Um, there was a <laughs> <laughs> there was a point about this. So obviously, yes. Obviously, <laughs> the the second question, <laughs> it, we got the answer for. <laughs> <laughs> what was the second question? Have yeah, you ever paid yeah. for sex? Remember when I was like, yo, you won't get fucked up tonight. <laughs> it was a bad idea. <laughs> yo, is, is there no uh, honor amongst thieves? Like, I'm not calling prostitutes thieves, although I'm sure they have stolen. Um, not, Dick. <laughs> Sorry. But, but, you know, like, what I'm saying is, should she have leaked this information? No. Like, no, because it, 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 it's alleged too. So it's like it's alleged, but we had a transaction. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we had a business transaction. That's not for you to be going around uh, blabbing about it. You'd expect when you also if uh, I pay you fifteen k, like half of that is to shut the fuck up about it. Right. The, I think you'd, you'd expect if you reach right. a certain right. <laughs> guys, <laughs> right? <laughs> you guys like that's what I'm saying. God damn it. Not like if you Just keep it shut. If you reach out to any of these businesses, if you're able to have the clout to reach them personally, uh, that's different. That's different. But if you, it's different because they, the women feel that that are in this business feel like okay, there's a different connection. I don't have a, somebody that connects me. Like I'm not part of a, a not a what do you, a hotline or whatever that I can mm-hmm. call. Hey, uh, I need this type of woman. I need this type of woman, this type of height, whatever, and then they come to the door. That's that's professional. Mm-hmm. You pay, but when you have their number or their their Instagram, and you reach them personally, like that. Mentally, for them, the women gives them the out to be like, okay, well now I can fandangle some money or try to fuck this all up because there's no contract here, there's no mm-hmm. guidelines here. Like I, this is a free thing for them. For I the dude, it's like an everyday transaction. Yeah. I paid for a bitch at a hotline yesterday. I'm paying for a bitch on a on an Instagram bitch today. Bro. But should somebody like Lil Baby have to pay for it, though? Uh, Yeah, no, because... of course not. Well, I mean... Well, he I doesn't mean, have to, but I guess, like... If you no, want that... You're right. If you want that right there right now, like, I got the money for it, then... If you, you want that have, top quality IG like, model... You're not hungry. You want that high quality IG model, and she's charging for it. If you had the money, you're going to pay for it to each his own, whatever. I just like, think that I'm if not, you're going to... Go ahead. Let's go no, 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 no. I just think that if you're gonna put yourself in that t- in that type of environment, you are the guy who has money. You are in, uh, putting yourself in a situation where there's women that are probably just there to drink, and there's women that are there that are trying to uh, fucking clout chase or get fucked for money. And like, then there's women that show up to your door and aren't the girl on the card that we asked for. <laughs> God damn it! I've, I've at I've least be close. Like, don't be completely different, bro. Like. Allegedly, That's, like that was my fear. <laughs> that was my the same color. <laughs> <laughs> that was always my fear at of like seeing that. Like I never wanted to be the guy to see that shit. At least be so, a woman. I go show up here, sir. <laughs> sir, <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> You know what you're doing, right? <laughs> it's, it's like when you get like the wrong. It's like when you get the wrong order, and you're like, "Fuck it, it's here already. Yeah. You're here. I'm here. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. I'll take the pickles off. It's yo, all good." You all touching his arm, like, "Yeah, you, you'll do." You're the Dutch runner. <laughs> you'll do just fine. Like it's fine. How like, do, you, do you? I'll just pick off what I don't like. It's okay. <laughs> That's terrible. Just come off. <laughs> this is He's dick. like Mr. Potato Head. This is dick come off. <laughs> He's like, I'm packing your angry eyes. No, no, no. What are you doing? Hey, go back. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Oh it's God. always that guy that goes too far. <laughs> it's always Gary. It's not the Mrs. Potato Head, though. <laughs> I'm packing you. No, nah, but yours. look, man, if you're if you're talking that shit on your songs and you live in that lifestyle or you're hanging around that lifestyle and you're associating yourself in that, don't look. I mean, this g- shit happens, bro. Give him a little bit of, of credit. I'm sure 15k was probably nothing. Nothing. Man. Uh, oh, he, it's the principle. You want a little 15k? I got that shit in my sock. At the end of the day, it's the principle. Show me. I, got, I think that I'm not a little baby. I'm you, big baby. <laughs> you got to show me socks. What the fuck is that? I don't know. <laughs> Gamora. <laughs> Gamora. That's when they had the flashback. <laughs> what did you risk? 
<laughs> him at the door. Everything. Everything. <laughs> Jinx! <laughs> Holy shit. Internet Money Lemonade. I actually love that song, though. Uh, yeah. Shout out to Internet Money. He got COVID. Oh, uh, fuck. Um, oh, shit. But that goes hand in hand with, like, um, you can't even go to a party and, like, people not and like, film you. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it goes hand in hand with that type of shit. You can't go anywhere without somebody. Like, let's say you passed out somewhere. Yeah, at a party. Yeah, and they're gonna film you. They're yeah. gonna yeah, they're gonna bro. put that shit on somebody's story. I mean, your it household. Is what it is. I would never. That's why I don't like getting. Luckily, I haven't gotten drunk as oh, shit here. F- rule number one at Gary's house is don't fall asleep. Yeah, don't well, fall asleep. Or it used to be. It's it's probably, to, I it's guess. No, now. I think Gary nah. still got it in him. It was, nah, well, it's not roommates. even me now. It's like I'm mature now, right? <laughs> Alex, <laughs> Alex pulls out the marker. Yeah, she she's she's not the mature one yet. Shout out to Al. When, when it comes to the part, she's still like, ah, let's fucking ride on him. Let's put some fucking beans in his pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'll take beans in my pocket um, instead of putting. Yo, what kind of diabolical <laughs> shit is that? Yo. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you a story, bro. All right, look. All right, so this goes hand in hand with this, beans. like. This one time, this dude passed out at a party. Oh, I was I was probably in my uh, higher teens, like 19, 18, 19. Um, and I had my young boys with me that were like 16. The young boys. <laughs> the young boys. And I was teaching them like, oh, look, this dude that used to work at fucking Back to the Future just passed out, right? The ride? Yeah. Yeah, because we worked at Universal oh, Studios. Okay. I was like, what the fuck? And we're at a party. Everybody's fucked up, but this fool is Fucked up, passed out. Mm, so I'm like, Adam, watch. Bro. I put beans in his pocket. <laughs> I put I put Doritos in his other pocket. Crushed them. I put crushed them. I put a fucking piece of carne asada on his face. Okay, he woke up I left like him alone. Face. I left him alone. Right? Yeah. Dog, I come back. Get go get a beer. Come back into the party. The older dudes are fucking with him now. <sighs> The older dudes are fucked. Oh, Eating bro. the carne asada out of his face. Dog, they said. Beans out of his pocket. Bro, pulls down his pants. Oh. Lifts his dick. Pulls his nuts out. He says, this is a military thing. What the fuck? And I'm there like, uh, check please. <laughs> like, I'm This is a military thing. Like, yo, I'm not going to get involved. Young in bulls. You don't need Young to see bulls. this. <laughs> we don't need to see this. We're Let's not in go. the armed forces. Yeah. Go ahead and No, nah, we, we out. No, this is a military thing. And then they pull down their pants. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, sir, yes, sir. <laughs> no. That's, my bulls. That's, that, that's super weird, not bro. Not my bulls. <laughs> I mean, that's like when people used to say, oh, that's white boy shit. Like, they be doing some wild ass yeah. gay shit like that. But yeah. no, nah, I, I don't know. That's too far. Yeah. But even, right, like, for me, it's not as too far, like, the whole shit you used to do with Ricardo and all your other friends writing and shit. Mm-hmm. It would just piss me off. Like, I'm not, I'm all for fun of games, but I, I'll be remiss if I didn't say that I'd be tight if I woke up and, like, y'all wrote just, like, the silliest shit. And honestly, though, back then, it was probably, if you were in luck, you had a fucking Polaroid or a Kodak camera. <laughs> but, or you had, like, a... like <laughs> a, take that shit on a Polaroid. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yo, once this dries, you're going to be pissed. Oh. I can't wait to laugh. <laughs> like, you don't got to shake it. Oh, or there was probably, like, some flip phone that had a camera. But flip phone, I, yeah. What, what quality was that was picture going to be? But it was so good for us at that yeah. time. Yeah, step your megapixels up. But now, you're for sure in HD oh. getting your fucking salad tossed. Four <laughs> four. <laughs> four. It's out. military thing. <laughs> Passed out in front of the Christmas tree. Yo, don't ever play with my general area and say it's a military thing, Yo, I shouldn't have to pee this bad, but I do. Keep it going, yeah. though. All right, all right. I'm all right. after him. I'm going to have to pause this shit. Oh, no, we pause it then. Yeah, pause, 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 pause. I think it's funny that you bought that, by the way. <laughs> oh, I love. I'm an advocate for effing. I'm an effing advocate. <laughs> and, and as cheesy as it was, I'll let you have it. That's <laughs> not, that's not even. Uh, that's not even. I used to buy this bottle when uh, 50 Cent owned it. We've had this bottle on the podcast numerous times. I feel like we years. have, yeah. But I would get the cucumber one. Mm. And uh, how I'm going to come in, Rich, you said you want to oh. get fucked up. I'm here. You want to get fucked up. So earlier on, I learned that if this... So you have an excuse. 
for the pee break. You've been drinking nothing but water nonstop. And I'm proud of you. Gallon, non stop. A gallon uh, a day. Shit. Shout out to the same song. We we've been. are drinking this. Oh, what, go ahead. Give you a shout out. No, I was going to say shout out to the same song we shout out earlier. Non stop. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What's that song called? We the realest. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> so, uh-huh. so this is considered an American whiskey. American whiskey is supposedly considered American. a light whiskey. Mm. So that's probably why we had to pee. Because you know when you drink light beer, it's kind of like water. It's, you got to pee more. Interesting. Yes. So, uh, but they said to open it up, mm-hmm. you pour a little bit of vodka in. To the whiskey. And I did this earlier. And watch how smooth this shit gets. And it's supposed to make the alcohol content last longer in your system. Okay, so, so make me drunker. Yeah, and you did say you wanted to get fucked up. So that's why We're that. getting fucked So taste up. it though. Taste it. Taste it. Cheers. What did it do to it? No, it made it kind of smoother. Right? Yeah. Yeah, it kind of works. Oh, shit. Oh, where the, where'd you get this knowledge from? Uh, this fucking whiskey shit I watch on YouTube. I oh, you were watching it before you got yeah, here? I yeah, saw that. Yeah, I forget what it's called, but it's two guys talking about whiskey. And um, it's So it's only American whiskey? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's aged in new barrels. No, it's aged in old used barrels. This one? Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's the difference of it. Um... Oak barrels, sorry. Um, so we're gonna go back to James Harden though. Yes. We'll just get the fucking sports out the way. Uh he he didn't show up to practice. Fuck practice. Talking about practice? You know, uh, do you guys think that the players are which side are you on? Players or owner side? It depends. It depends on what they're fighting for. I don't know what James Harden is fighting for. Right now he's fighting to get off the team. Yeah, he he doesn't want to be on uh the Rockets anymore. He wants to get traded. He said he's open Do we know to why? Get, he said he's open to getting traded to the 76ers mm-hmm. or any other. But he wants to be traded to Brooklyn to play with Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving, but Do we that's know why? Does unlikely. he hate a team? Does he hate He, uh, he doesn't like Dan Tony uh management. Yeah. Uh, I mean it all comes the, down to management for with any of these trades or yeah. Or or signing to another team, it's always like management. The, um, the biggest thing is that uh, like they have been. Uh, what I hear is that they have been reaching um, out. No, no, no. They have been accommodating James Harden, right? Like they got Chris Paul well, in there his for star, him. So. They got uh, Russell Westbrook in there for him. Was that okay? So was was that it his request? Work. It didn't work. Yeah, that was all his request. It didn't work. So now, on the web. what, Ooh, baby girl? Hey, we, hey, what's your name, yo? Uh, can I pay? How much? <laughs> cuanto, 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 how much? And leave my bill alone. <laughs> that nice, how much? Um, look, my my thing is play like, me Mike's sex tape. <laughs> oh, you'll, never, you'll never find. <laughs> hey Google, show me Mike's dick pic. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> <laughs> Turns it over. Here it is. I found what you were searching for on the web. <laughs> Yo, Mike probably has a whole porn site. Imagine. Man. Would you feel obligated to honor that contract, Mike, if you had a fucking contract for doing porn and they just like push you to the limit? I think you have to. Or like you're doing you're doing so much porn and none of the porn catches, right? And you're like, yo, I want to get traded to a different porn. I want to go to Vivid. You know what I'm saying? Are we still talking basketball? <laughs> Are we talking teams? Yeah. <laughs> you know, like it's the same. It goes, it's the same shit. Um, Would you honor that contract to do porn? If I was into porn? Or if you were James Harden, either or whichever one. <laughs> Let's just because my head is <laughs> up to <laughs> It's the same shit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, I just think that um he's put in a lot of time in that team and he's just ready to move on. But his age, uh, I don't know if he's at his at um at, peak at his peak or past his prime. Peak. I don't know. Uh, I just know that he is a good as opposed to being a person that can carry a team. Mm-hmm. He's now a good addition, as in my opinion. He's not like oh let's send him somewhere and he, he's going to carry that team to the playoffs. Like yeah. I think at this point, his attitude and his playing, he's a good addition. Um, I don't think Durant. Uh, I think Durant had said something earlier where he was like, um. I'm, you know, he's not on my team, so I'm not worried about him right now. Like, people are pretty much, look, they fast-forwarded the season. They don't have time to politic with other players. 
they need to think about <clears throat> stopping the Lakers from getting a fucking repeat. That's what they're thinking about right now. They can't. Uh, what about you? You going to fucking uh, honor your contracts? If I'm under contract, I, I think I have to. I think it kind of shows other teams in the future, potentially, that you are... Worth it? Worth yeah, the, the, yeah, because w- worth the risk that mm-hmm. they're probably going to take on you. Because if you're going to be one of those players that's just like uh, halfway through your contract, wanting to get out of it and, and complaining and begging for a trade or whatever, it just kind of makes teams, I think, not want to take the chance on you. The optics are bad for him, unfortunately. From like him leaving, I, I, yeah. I don't like the forcing trade thing. Like I don't, I don't like it. I don't, I don't, I don't think players should do that. Like I get it. You don't like the situation that you're in, then kind of like work through it. But like I hate players now because everyone's watching them, and it's easy to kind of get your message out. Like they can demand a trade and force teams to trade them. Like I think that's kind of like bullshit. Yeah, and it's all optics. It's all optics because the, the the management has to suffer from ticket sales if the optics look bad on them. Just do what LeBron's doing. Mm-hmm. Take fucking two year deals. Yeah. Take two year deals after that two years. Have a, like maybe a one year option or whatever, and and just do your time. And and once that's up, like if you want to go somewhere, else, you're free to go. But don't take a fucking five year contract worth 180 million, and then halfway through your contract, you're like, you know what? I think I want to play somewhere else. And then you're forcing the hand of the team and you're making trying to make them look bad and then in turn making yourself look bad. I'm glad that I got both sides sides of the coin here. Yeah, know. Micah suck my dick. Well, let's no, keep it on sports. I'm good. Okay. <laughs> uh Floyd Mayweather versus Logan Paul. The fight of the century, Logan. Stand up, Mavericks. Let's go. Announced for February 24th, 2021. Take my fucking money. Who y'all got? Um, t- Just a quick wrestler uh, talk. You remember when Enzo came out mm-hmm. and Brock Lesnar was in the ring in yeah. the Royal Rumble? Uh-huh. And everybody was ecstatic that it was happening, even the yeah. announcer? Yeah. That's how I feel about this fight. Well, because <laughs> uh, for context... Uh, Enzo is a small guy who was always on the mic uh, aggravating other wrestlers, right? And not a good wrestler. So then then, uh, fucking uh, Brock Lesnar is Brock Lesnar, right? A fucking beast. So he was going to tear him up, you know, and everybody was like, hell yeah. Yeah. And so that's what he's saying. Like you think that in this this case, Floyd Mayweather is going to fuck Jake Paul up. Uh, Jake Logan. Right? No, it's Logan, Logan Paul. Paul. Yeah. Logan. He's going to fuck Logan Paul up. Hey, what I don't are we gonna, know. Logan what are, Paul is the bigger brother, though. What are we going to do when Logan lands one on Mayweather? That's all he needs That's, to do. I feel like all he needs to do is land one or not. Nah, nah. Survive. But, Survive. Not get knocked out. But Mayweather is the uh, defense king, right? Yeah. yeah. He, he's, he can avoid all punches. He rarely yeah. gets hit. So, I mean, I think he rarely gets hit by like professional boxers. Mm-hmm. I don't know if Logan's gonna be gonna be able to land a punch on him. No, but if he think, does, I don't think uh, Floyd's gonna molly whop him. But I feel like it's gonna be like a regular let, Floyd fight let, where let, like let, this dude's gonna come out aggressive and he's gonna be dodging all his. You but know, on the contrary, I just real quick. The only reason I think no is because Nate Robinson wasn't a boxer; he's a basketball player. When a boxer gets in the ring with this wannabe boxer. He's going to show him what's what. He's not a wannabe boxer, though. I think he's had uh, like two or three fights. He's had a couple of, but let's say for some reason Mayweather decides like he's not a real boxer. I don't have to be on my toes as much. Mm-hmm. That would be bad. And, he, and he's relaxed with his defense, right? So he doesn't take it as serious as he should. And then Logan is like, this is my shot. This mm-hmm. is like, everyone's watching this. So he's training his ass off, right? And he in the in the ring sees that he's relaxed and he just takes his shot. Just real quick. Just nah. Bop. I think he'll treat it the same way he treated McGregor. Like he gave him a, a what's what. Like he talked McGregor all this. McGregor was shit. an athlete though. Yeah, but still he fucking What's well, so is Logan Paul? He's got yeah. six pack and shit. Yeah. Look, if I got in the ring with Logan Paul, he'd probably beat my ass. He's been fucking training. I haven't trained for shit. But if you get in the ring with Mayweather, so who's somebody, or any, huh? who's somebody you could take? Me, who I could take in the ring as a boxer? Yeah, please. nobody. You mean just anybody? Anybody. Uh, well, the question. Both of y'all. That, the, <laughs> the question that I had 
was uh, who in an uh, ensemble <laughs> TV cast would you would you want to get in a in, in a ring with? Like uh, let's say oh, like oh, Dwight yeah. from The Office, fucking Chandler Bing, uh, Ross. You I'll know, get, like I'll get in the ring with Kevin from The Office. <laughs> Yo, I can t- <laughs> <laughs> nah, you gonna you gonna spill hot chili on you? <laughs> I could probably take a, a Joey Gladstone. Who's that? From Full House. <laughs> <laughs> that was his last name? Uncle Uncle Joey. Uncle, Uncle Joey. I could probably take Michelle, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She, that's what I mean. That, that counts. <laughs> I think you could take everybody except for Uncle... Uh, what's the other uncle? Uncle Jesse? Jesse? I could, fuck Jesse no, up. Jesse might fuck Yo, you speaking up. Yo, <laughs> speaking of... Speaking of uh, uh, well, uncle not, Jesse was a woman's man. He, speaking, he was a lover, not a fighter. Not speaking of Uncle Jesse. But you did take you, him. But Bitch, did, you thought... <laughs> yeah, I fuck Uncle, uncle Jesse up. But did you guys see that, that fucking Lifetime... Movie. Of, no, uh, you can stop right there. <laughs> no, I'm not saying the movie. No, let him keep going. The, the Mar- I know what he's talking the, about. The, the, the Mario Lopez uh, KFC biopic. <laughs> so, wait, he plays Colonel Sanders? Yes. yes, they got Colonel Sanders to be some fucking Latino heat. No, I mean, I, I get. Did you watch it? Is it all right? I don't know when it is comes he out. Right? I don't even know if it's real. But I was shown this, I think right? it is. I was shown, I was shown like, uh, uh, I guess... Me shown. I was me shown <laughs> a picture of what's upcoming, right? And it's yeah. got Mario Lopez with like a white wig and like a fake mustache and stuff. Looking like sexy Ricky Ricardo yeah. that sells chicken. I mean, I... I'm intrigued. Yeah, definitely. Right, but uh, show me the trailer. Yeah, I'm good. That's it. <laughs> yeah, let me see a trailer. Let me see a trailer of that shit. I'm not watching the movie. Just show me. the I want to see Mario Lopez play uh, Colonel Sanders, whose country is fuck. There's way too much on TV, and I would rather just watch the trailer and just get satisfied with that and go binge something else. Y'all like KFC though, like that. I'm- <laughs> what kind of cook? yo fight me, bro? He's like y'all fuck with KFC. Like y'all, that. y'all like KFC like that though? No, I don't. No, I actually like. I like KFC, but it's I like way KFC, too bad. but uh, it's awful. Like uh, for you, you know the, the the mac and cheese is actually pretty good. Right. I think that's the be- the best. Thing. Their coleslaw was was is always lit for me. Their coleslaw, it's always lit for me. Nah, I like their cr- their crispy chicken. Yeah. more than their original chicken. For sure, for sure. Uh, their mashed potatoes might be too watery for yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. The, their know? their recipe has definitely gone down for sure. Yeah, just, eh, just just the chicken. Yeah, just the chicken. That's it. Nah, but like you know what? Like when I when I was doing my training at a convalescent home, I remember like fucking the 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 patient's food. The smell was so distinct and awful that I came home one day and my mom had KFC. That's what I'm just like. And then I'm like, oh man, this kind of smells like their their food, and I can't, I couldn't eat it. I couldn't eat the KFC. Damn, so they were eating KFC. Yo, I've been in enough them. hospitals. No, they were not eating KFC. They're whatever. Yeah. They're grits or whatever the fuck <laughs> eggs smell like KFC. You couldn't. I had to sit there and feed these old ass people who couldn't chew. Some fucking. It's a very. Watery it's a very. Food. I know what you're talking about. It's a very you know? common hospital food yeah. smell. It's yeah. very common. I know what you're talking about. I couldn't do it, bro. Um, I know that I stay away from KFC. Uh, I I do it in like doses. I don't eat a lot of KFC. Yeah. I used to back in the day, but. You used to just eat the skin? No, I was never that <laughs> guy. No, 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 no. I mean, low key. <laughs> low key just got a bucket full of bald chicken, bro. I've I'm so glad that I've never been I've been depressed, but I'm so glad I've never been depressed to like just eat, eat the whole all the skin not even and just leave the dip. chicken. Not just even just that just eat myself to death. I can't. I'll eat uh a probably a meal and add one more item, but I've never been depressed enough <laughs> to eat a whole bunch of fucking. Yeah, you food know like you're too that. far gone when you go to KFC and you order a bucket for yourself. What's what's <laughs> oh the most God. what's the most you you think you've ever eaten? Bucket KFC. From, no, you, that's not. I mean, that's oh, all wait. protein. <laughs> what <do> we, <laughs> that can't be the most. We actually did this together. Uh, yeah, watch your mouth. No, <laughs> we, so cool. one day we got. <laughs> what did we do? So we went to McDonald's and got a forty piece, right? Probably. Uh-huh. And then we. This is this is probably 2011, 2010. Mm-hmm. And then we went back to my crib, but before that, there was a fucking Taco Bell there. And we got, we both got the, what was it called? The, the Mega Double Decker? It was like a Mega Chalupa or something. Yeah, the Mega Chalupa. We got a Double Chalupa. That shit was like the size of a shoe. We had a fucking feast. And that's probably the most that I've, I've, I feel like I've eaten 
But we used when we used to be on our mentally fat game, like we would hit each other up. He'd be like, "Yo, yo, she knew I got the mega bow, cuz." <laughs> Let's roll. What'd you say? Let's roll. Oh, that's, that's rough. <laughs> well, I mean, I, you know, I can't, I can't remember what's the most I've ever eaten, but I can tell you the most fat shit I've ever done. Okay. I visited on the same night McDonald's. Carl's Jr., Jack in the Box, um, Burger King. Maybe that's it. Damn, that's all the major food groups. Yeah. And and I got uh, something from each one. Something from each one. Their their major one. I think I got like a Big Mac at McDonald's, a Whopper at Burger King, a, a Jumbo <laughs> Jack at uh Jack in, J- the Jack in the Box, a famous star at Jesus. Carl's Jr. Oh boy. And I I went to town, right? Burgers to see, only. To you see, wild, bro. To see which is the which is the best. But did you finish it all? Yeah. Jeez. Well, no, I see, your metabolism shit. is different than mine because I don't one. know. As fat as I fucking am, I can't eat as much as you can. You you. If we go out to eat, yeah. you probably eat way more than me. I think that I like the taste the most of like the charbroiled meat at uh, Carl's. Carl's, but ain't hey, nothing beating the McDonald's. Like McDonald's is. Eh. Like nah. it's like a fucking squishy fucking brain you're eating. I don't know what it is about it. It's a like squishy, delicious brain. It, yeah. No, nah, I'm more. It, my battle is between Carl's Jr. Burger and a Burger King Burger. Those two Burger burgers. King. Nah. The Whoppers is still king. Both char broiled. Yeah, you're yeah. dying over here. You need you need you need a little coffee or something. No, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Some of us work hella early. Very true. Um, so what else we getting into speaking, today? Speaking of uh, sleep and being sleep deprived, uh, dreams, right? I mm. wanted to get into dreams. Yeah. Just because, uh, like, do you ever have trouble sleeping? All the time. Both of you. You do. I feel like you do because I feel like you're I'm like, up. you never sleep. I don't. Why? What, what? What's your normal sleep regimen? It's weird because Let's like. Let's start there. Okay. Normal sleep regimen? Yeah. Like, if I'm being honest, I'll fall yeah. asleep around, like, actual sleep. Mm-hmm. REM sleep. One-ish. You don't know One-ish. what that is. One-ish, maybe. Um, but to be honest, I'm, a, like, if I can think of the last couple days, mm-hmm. I was up to, like, two. Okay. Three. An hour extra. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> and But but I wake up at 5.30 yeah. every morning. Every morning. Every morning. Even at home. Like, even, what about the weekends? Every morning, because that's when Bean has to go out. Yeah, you like my dad. He wakes up at 5.30. I got to take him out at 5.30. So I, I have no choice. It doesn't matter what time I fall asleep. It doesn't matter if I'm hungover. It doesn't matter. None of that matters. 5.30. Home, you home you got to go walk him? Homeboy is whining because he has to go pee, mm-hmm. and, I gotta, and I'm the one that takes him. Well, what about before Bean? Even, well, before Bean, I, uh, that was like before COVID, and I was working in the office, and I had to wake up. At, at like, that time, yeah, yeah, no, at like four thirty even. Oh shit! To get to work at six thirty, so it was. You get three hours. So even even then, I was only getting like three hours of sleep. I think on average, I get three to four hours of sleep. And then, you don't take naps or nothing like that mm-hmm. later on. Just three hours. Not. Like it might be like I'm watching something and I'm I, maybe I'll doze off in the middle yeah, of the I've day, seen it. but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but like it, it's never like a full nap. It's always like I doze off and then someone wakes up. I'm like, huh, huh, I'm up, I'm up. And it's, it's just weird. And even, like, let's say I go home in, like, an hour or two or whatever. Like, let's say midnight. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go home. I'm going to turn the TV on. I'm going to find something to watch. And I'm going to watch it for, like, at least another good hour, hour and a half. And I still won't fall asleep. Like, it, it's... Because the way I see it is if I get home late, I still got to, like, unwind, which is mm-hmm. weird. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I still got to unwind. So it's like, it doesn't matter how late I am. I'm going to turn the TV on. I'm going to watch Sports Center or something. And I'm going to just watch it for a little bit, and then maybe I'll doze off or whatever. So is that a technique to go to sports center, like yeah. to, to fall asleep? It, I actually think it might be, at least for me. I think I'm so used to it that like now I have to put on sports center at, at night, just watch it. Even if it's like the same, if I'm watching Scott Van Pelt for two hours straight, I got to watch it, uh, and that'll kind of like... I watch it to the point where it makes me tired and then I fall asleep. What you watching? What you doing to fall asleep? You just go to sleep right well, away. Now? Or? Well, no, no, no. I, I like him. I have to unwind. Um, like my since I have my sleep apnea machine, 
I sleep pretty good. I sleep like five hours the least. The most is like eight. Um, but anyway, uh, when I get home, the one thing that I'm doing to like kind of get there is I'll play like Among Us on my phone. That's right now. Oh. Or if not, I'll just watch YouTube videos. Uh, Are you well, playing Among Us? Yeah, man. That shit's lit. That shit puts me to sleep uh, after like a couple rounds. And then I'll just knock the fuck out. But if I get home at a certain time, yeah, I don't want to get less than five. Even if I'm on my machine, I, I don't want to get less than five hours of sleep. Mm-hmm. So there's it's it's like whatever I'm doing, it's five hours. Maybe Damn. I'll do four if I'm like we do a late cast or whatever. Um, but that's if I gotta wake because I try to wake up yeah, every wake morning. Up to work. I gotta yeah, I try to wake up every morning at like five thirty. A late past? Huh? On the past? <laughs> On Yo, the P cast? You, you you the imposter? Uh, barely. I wish every every now and then I am, but that game is lit. But um, you you also mentioned that like dreams and shit, like yeah. Um, well, well, I, I, I said, like, uh, what's the last dream you could remember? Like, do you guys ever, like, you only sleep three hours, you sleep five. I only sleep five hours during the day uh, on a good day. Yeah. So, um, but you like, nap? Well, like, I, I nap. Well, so, like, my ideal day is come home, nap for two hours, wake up, work out, then nap for another four later on. That's not bad. So that's Four my hour nap. Yeah, that's my ideal. That's my ideal day. Like, cause I come home, but sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I have to come home, stay up till two p.m. After working from twelve hour shift. No, uh, uh, it's an eight hour shift, but like staying up for whatever from you're like whatever. Before. Yeah, and then like stay up till two and try to sleep from two to eight. Like try to get. Six hours of sleep to go back to work. So, like, it's tough. Mostly, I get, like, five. Yeah, especially five when Al's here and she's bothering you. Like, you know? What's funny is so, he, laugh, he laughed at you calling four hours a nap. That's not a nap. Bro. That's sleep. That's yeah, sleep. four hours. That's that's all me. That's all night. That's my, my nap right. is one hour for me is a nap. 45 right. minutes okay. is a nap. Okay, so... Yeah, all right, I'm yeah, with you. That's not a nap. That's a whole sleep session. All right, well, that's a sleep session. But it's then. funny. Just, but I call yeah, it a nap. Know, like, yeah, because yeah, just, like... <laughs> For me, it's broken up sleep, you know. Yeah, no, but I, I don't. When I, when I get less than five, it's mm-hmm. rare. I, I do the broken up. Like, okay, I gotta make up for the hour that I lost, yeah. and just do one more hour just in case, so I can have that energy. Yeah, one time I, I was falling asleep. It was a couple months ago, and it was like when we had daylight savings time. Yeah, and I was like, oh, I got another hour. I'm lit. Can't watch the TV. <laughs> I stayed up. I don't know why. Like, I was just that's like, happened before where I've like. So I was like, I'll oh. just stay up another hour or something, and it just keeps going for no reason. I'm actually. I was like, oh, it's sleep. one again. It's one yeah. o'clock again. I'm oh. actually loving sleep right now because, like, I look outside at five p.m. Like, I, let's say I went to sleep <laughs> at two. Mm-hmm. I woke up at five to use a bathroom you or something, it's and it's late. dark. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, this is gonna be the best sleep now from five to eight because it's dark out. Yeah. Like in during the summer. That shit was light till 8 p.m., so I have to try to sleep from light to light? Like, nah. No. no. I couldn't do it. I will say that uh, the stizzy that you gave me for yeah. uh, when you gave uh, Ricardo his uh, groom squad thing. Yeah. Uh, so I, I smoked it on th- Saturday. Yeah. Had a, I had a good-ass time on it, but the dreams? Jeez. Oh, it was okay. bad. Oh. I had... The, I do... Re- uh, it was... A lot that I don't remember, but one of the things I do remember is, like, an aunt came that I haven't really uh-huh. talked to in a long time, and she was like, I have something to say, and I've been trying to say something for, uh, you know, it was like a secret, basically, yeah. but this is going to get super graphic. She, like, slit her throat, right? <laughs> Dog, right before she was... Was it... Because this, this goes in hand with the If the you don't take question. your ass back to purgatory, <laughs> God <damn it. laughs> No, because, like... <laughs> like, uh, did you wake up, like, for instance, at, like, 3.24 no, a.m.? No. And it then, was, like, what? you woke up and, like... The next day, and you got a message like she's actually dead, and like you know, it's one of those taboo times. Like it's like beyond belief. Yeah. That's how it that should show. have been. That's how you think it should have ended. But no, I woke up around five twenty because I forgot to stop yeah. my alarm, and it was a it was a Sunday morning, and I did wake. Uh, I, I but the, so what happened after she slit her throat? I was trying to close it and say, "Say what you were gonna say." <laughs> like what were you gonna say? You and to like it. 
Close her throat? Think, yeah. <laughs> you know, have you seen the movies? No, 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 no. Yeah, in the movies, you try to do like what they do in the movies, like put pressure. You tie a sock, tie a sock around her neck. Put her head down. Yeah. <laughs> but I think I had. He like talk. I want to have the toys or us. Yeah. Um, so guys, sir. Su cabeza. Su cuello, su cuello. Do you really want it? Yeah. <laughs> you put a tortilla out with them tacos de buche. <laughs> you guys really pieces, go. You cut off pieces go. of her cheek. You just slice off. <laughs> you just get uh, <laughs> You're like homeboy who's on the spit and you just slice off pieces of her face. You ain't, you ain't gonna need this. <laughs> Quiero tacos de cachete. Tiene salsa? Tiene salsa verde? <laughs> You guys, you guys uh, back and forth. You guys are doing good. R.I.P. Your aunt. <laughs> Look, she's lying. She got, she got even dead. <laughs> what the fuck? Sorry. Yo, well now. I literally oh, said shit. one that I haven't talked to in a she's while. She's gonna be so pissed when she's like, ah, I'm dying. Ah, Michael, uh, Carcio. Definitely wouldn't watch this. <laughs> um, be like the Wicked Witch. She's just gonna melt now. Kill Dion. Yo, you wish it on her. It's gonna be like thinner. She's gonna lose mad weight. <laughs> thinner. Thinner. Yeah. Yo, is she big? Can she be thinner? You guys started off on the high, but your jokes are just I going know. down. I know, I know. None of them are good. Oh my God. Sorry. Um, go, 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 go. <laughs> no, nah, but I think I got into sleep paralysis because then she just like had the demon face. Uh, and fuck. I started praying because it got I saw the demon face. And you couldn't move? Uh, I don't. I don't remember, but I know I was praying, and I could. Usually, when I pray and I can't get the, the words out, it's probably because I'm um sleep on sleep paralysis. Or because you got a CPAP. I woke up a little bit after. <laughs> you speak like Bane. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you you pray like. No, Bane. that's like this one when, when he when he murmurs. No time for fear. That you comes later. <laughs> I actually sent him that before. I think it was like the first week I had the mask. And he was like, oh, I bet you look like Bane. And I sent him a video of me doing the Bane voice with the mask on. <laughs> He's like, you adopted the darkness. I was born in it. Yep. <laughs> That's exactly word for word. That's the Tom Hardy. No, it's his turn now. <laughs> You're done. Oh, my bad. Um, no, it's his turn. Uh, let's see. My last dream I had, I was flying. And I made myself fly. That was kind of tight. You ever like... Like, you ever been dreaming, and then, like, you know you're dreaming? And, like, once you realize it, you're like, oh, I'll run this shit. Yeah. And you just start doing shit you wouldn't normally do because you know that you're controlling the dream? I've had I've had a fight with, like, all the bad, pe- like, villains when I was a young kid. Fucking and penguin. that's when I knew, like, oh, I can control this shit. Like, I was fighting the Joker. I thought he was, like, fighting, like, wrestling heels. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, mm-hmm. fucking... Come Jake on, the snake. Come on, gold dust. <laughs> no, gold dust. Not like this. <laughs> Yo, if you got fucked up by gold dust. Fart. <laughs> Fart. Uh, gold dust is a really good wrestler, by the way, but whatever. You think you, neither here nor there. Okay, real quick. I, just to deviate real quick. Uh-huh. Uh, what wrestler do you think you can actually beat? For real? Uh, I mean, I feel like they... they like, with your knowledge of wrestling... And the choreography. Nah, they, they, the choreography is one thing, but like these are like muscle bound dudes. Like, I mean, don't sell yourself short. Like, I mean, I mean, you might these, not. These got, these you're guys. wiry. If Michael Cole got back in the ring, you'd probably beat Michael you're, Cole. You're wiry. Actually, I don't know. Michael Cole might could take you. I feel like you would take a uh, Sean McMahon. No, Shane McMahon will. Sean McMahon. <laughs> no, it's not Shane. It's his brother. <laughs> There's no brother. It's his brother. I, I'll take Stephanie McMahon. Probably. Down. <laughs> She'll probably fuck you. Up. I did. I did have a dream that I drank this uh, beer today, so that might be some alcoholic shit. But, but this this takes me to my point. This might be some alcoholic shit, but I had a dream that I was drinking this beer, so I'm glad that right now I'm drinking this beer. But there's some fat shit in me too, where I cannot fall asleep. Clearly. I can't fall asleep if I know that there's food waiting for me in the refrigerator. Like what? What the fuck? You got a fucking sandwich in there? No, I thought he was really about to go up in there right no, now. No, he about to go <laughs> like, pull out all the leftovers. The like, way you got up, like it was so perfect. Like you, you were like, like, yo, I got a baked potato. I gotta I got, show y'all. I got, ha- <laughs> half, I got another cake for you, Mike. I got <laughs> half, half a sandwich. Uh, yeah, that cake was bomb, by the way. <laughs> Good. No, but hey, like, you share with anybody? 
I I like, can't I can't fall asleep knowing like let's say you have some leftover pizza in the fridge. No, you got some fire ass. I, I and and I know that that's for dinner. I understand that. I, that's that's my dinner. I I'm gonna be struggling to fall asleep <laughs> because I want to eat that shit, even though I just probably ate. Yeah. Like a tactic that I use to fall asleep during the day is eat. You know because Makes you get into you. a you get into a food coma. Food coma. And it's hard to do get into a food coma when you don't really eat carbs. So I'll drink or I'll smoke and, I, and get into I've a real done, coma. Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've done the smoking. And I'll just beat you me. <laughs> nah, I can't do that because every, every time I, I do smoke, like, it just makes you just want to eat everything. The beating your meat shit is, is, is always a, a, a good tactic. Yo, the, the high beat your meat? Hey. Shit now we talking. This shit is next level. I think you know how how are we some, talking beats? You, you know how some women say like they have multiple <laughs> orgasms. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah. Ah, when I'm hot, ah, ah, ah. I um, this, <laughs> this sock is no good. <laughs> <laughs> you throw it, you throw it, lands on the ceiling. Oh, just, just sticks there like those sticky hands that you used to have. Yeah, you forget about it. <laughs> I'm sitting there like it's happening. Uh, <laughs> Forget about it. Three days later, it you falls argue on with, you. Arguing with your girl. <laughs> Fuck. Looks, and looks she like, gets mad at you like, like dog ears. You think this is a joke? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, shout out to these psycho chicks. <laughs> they go like this. She goes like this. They're just splashing oh, everywhere. Like I don't. Fucking sock just slapping you in the face. <laughs> you think everything's funny. Yo, shout out to the uh, our, shit. Shout, shout out, out to, to our, the, our psycho women. Shout out to the cum sock. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever really use a sock? Hell yeah, a couple times, not all the time. Nah, it's man, like I, just, I can count them on my one hand. The time nah, I, I just use hit the sock. wall and then wiped it off. You know what I mean? Nah, nah, dog. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you just hit the wall with <laughs> get some paper towels <laughs> after. Nah, I got. <laughs> You, you know the fucking uh, that uh, Mr. Clean, the magic sponge? Yeah. <laughs> Takes everything off. Yo, <laughs> there's a TV. There's a lotion in front of my TV over here in the room, right? But the TV, <coughs> there's no channels on it. There's not, it does, Nothing's hooked up to it but a Super Nintendo. Poor ass. <laughs> so I never use it. But there's a TV in there. But my lotion's in front. I go like this, like trying to get the lotion out. That just splatters all over the TV. Oh no! And I'm like, kind of like you, like, what do I do with this shit? <laughs> if Alex sees there's lotion on the TV, she's gonna think so bad. What have you been doing? I did it with the hand. <laughs> I just, eh, fuck with it. With the pinky. <laughs> Depending on the amount, just no, I went like that. I just spread it on my knees. And shit. <laughs> I'm mad ashy, and I watch TV. Yo, uh, y'all ready for Charlie? Oh fuck, Charlie! Shout out to Charlie. I miss you so much, Charles. Oh, you fucking Canadian Look. bastard. Yo, he's got to be like a dual citizen by now, right? Oh, he is a dual citizen. Is he like in real life? Mm-hmm. That's great. Oh, man. shout out to you, you little fucking Canuck. Um, yeah. he's back Friday. I can't wait to see. His- Fucking stupid face. Yeah, yeah Monday. We're uh, going to see him Monday, man. Yeah, I hopefully like, we'll see him on Monday. I mean, I don't know. Oh, yeah, hopefully because like, of his jet schedule, lag too. And all that bullshit. I feel like our podcasts are better with Charlie. Like, that That was a question. Like, what did you miss about Charlie? What's a What's a fond memory of Charlie? <sighs> I miss him, like, getting irritated by Ricardo because Ricardo just shits on him all the time. That's the best part is that I, I can... I, I know how to push uh, Charlie's buttons and... He'll just take it. Because we'll walk through your ad lib. Because you ad lib almost everything we say. And we walk through it, but he won't. Like, he'll, he'll acknowledge your ad lib. Like, my, Rich, he'll shut the say, fuck up. Fuck <laughs> you, Rich. Not like er- I love early like, Charlie. Fuck you, Rich. Yeah. Early Charlie shit. Like, when when uh, we would do do it back in the old condo. Like, over here in the, in the living room. Yeah. And he would be like, Rich, no. So he kind of like stumble, <laughs> yeah. Like just get out of it. <laughs> but shout out to Charlie. Yeah. Shout out to his dad uh, doing the graphics on Forrest Gump. I appreciate that shit. <laughs> and um, I can't. He he, he uh, hid Gary Sinise's legs. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he did. Uh, but shout shout out to him. Uh, can't wait till you're back, and uh, we have better lighting and also a better cameraman. I mean, yeah. Because Fuck right now we don't have one. You know what I'm saying? Um, I miss the honestly the, the true thing that I miss about 
Charlie being our honorary fourth member of Convos is the banter back and forth. Yeah. Uh, I like it. I think he adds a he 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 uh, reaches out to our white demographic. <laughs> I, I think yeah. I think it's always better. Like I think I I like the fact that we can shout shit out and ca- vaguely hear what he has to say back. Like not necessarily does he need a mic, but we we vaguely hear it back. Like like you know Charles has like, intuitive. Like it, Things to say, like yeah. really, like put together are well articulated things, and oh. Ricardo just shits on it yeah. every time. Or you, <laughs> but mostly Ricardo just shit on it every time. Yeah, we should do. I shows. think that's why he got behind the camera. He was like, "I'm not doing it with these motherfuckers." Like, if I sit at the table, I'll go on a whole rant, and they'll fuck it up. No, but you know what? Uh, honestly, I think he made he made uh, our podcast better. Mm-hmm. He he fixed our location. He fixed the lighting. He. Gives us facts when we're just talking shit and have no clue what we're talking about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he'll correct us. Yeah, because we're um, we're always wrong, and for some reason he knows everything. The Charlie, the Charlie. We miss you, bud. We like miss you, bud. Like he's like not gonna come back. He has to come back. He's like the Terminator. Yeah, <laughs> he's gonna like just. Go Show. into the fire with a thumbs up. <laughs> no, Go into the lava. He, no, he's gonna walk into the podcast naked, <laughs> and then take somebody's clothes. Shout out to T two. Whose clothes know? he take? He's gonna wear a cupcake shirt. What's yeah, his no. name? Johnny what's, Cupcake. Yeah, no. What's the what's the shirt that he was wearing from? Uh, oh, he's a uh, anything gorillas. Gorillas, shirt. <laughs> gorillas, gorillas shirts or no? Hopper he's a hopper, 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 hopper. <laughs> Yo, uh, this is a music topic. Man on the Moon 3 is dop- uh, dropping on tomorrow Friday. Nine. Yeah, tomorrow night. So um, has Kid Cudi influenced any of you guys? Like oh, yeah. I remember 2009, Kid Cudi's uh, Man on the Moon 1. I would bump it all the time. And uh, who I was with, you know, would be like, yo, what the fuck is this? Yeah. And I was like, this is Kid Cudi. And she was like, is he... Is he a rapper or a singer? Why doesn't he just choose one? I'm like, let him rock. Like this is the fucking best shit I've heard this whole whole year. This is a uh, Man on the Moon one, and then Man on the Moon two comes out. I love it too. Uh, not as much as Man on the Moon one, but I do have my yeah. have my tracks on there. Indica, you said you liked a lot. I like Indica. And uh, I don't really like the, one, the, the rock one he had, the, the experimental. No, no, I like Wizard. The other. Oh, no. The it's other got, uh, the other one. Bullet to Heaven was it? Yeah, 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 that, yeah. I still haven't gotten into it. I've never really like got it's too many so, it, it was too many album. it was too many songs back then. You yeah. know now albums have like 24, 25 songs. Like I, it's tough. To, it's a double for me album, to, isn't it? It's tough for me to get into that many songs. Yeah, no. Uh, that was I like Wizard, and uh, the Demons one I like too. Satellite was pretty good. I think that's Satellite was all right. I like I, I, I like, I like Ball Mon Jeans. Uh, I, I I like I have to destroy you now, and that's on that album. My my, you know, my thing is like. People give Kanye credit for because when he did anyway, AOH and Heartbreaks, I was like, oh, he opened the door for rappers to sing. Mm-hmm. But Cuddy, well, I learned this from Trey and Ricardo. Cuddy pretty much did 808s and Heartbreaks. Yeah. So he's the one who actually Huge influence the, on, yeah. on, on. Yeah. What's your favorite uh, song on 808s and Heartbreaks? Uh, that's a good question. Amazing? No, not amazing. Uh, um, Welcome to the Heartbreaks. That's Kid Cuddy. It's good. But um, mine is a uh, Robocop. I Robocop think I like, was Robocop. good. Mine Robo- is Streetlights. I like Streetlights. Definitely number two for me is Streetlights. Mm-hmm. But I think Paranoid mm-hmm. is definitely the first one. Mm-hmm. Nah, I think uh, I think I like Robocop or uh, Robocop is I, definitely number three for me in that order. So it's Paranoid, uh, Streetlights, uh, Robocop, and then the other ones fall in. I know. I'm, I'm going on amazing. Amazing is num. It's one of those. It's, 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 yeah. I feel like there's another one that because uh, there's Welcome to Heartbreak and there's this Pinocchio song and then there's um, then there's a uh, Love Lockdown. Um, 
which I loved when it first came out. Yo, in the mid, that uh, was a moment. Was it MTV Video yeah. or Music MTV, Awards? MTV Music Awards, I think. Well, uh, movie awards. Uh, but uh, yeah, when he performed that shit, I was like, shit, "What the fuck man. is this?" That it was, was cool. Sick. And then the Kaiko yeah, drums, yeah, I was in yeah, love with that yeah. thing. But yeah. when the album came out, then that came like Love Lockdown for me is probably number five for me on that album. Yeah, Love Lockdown. It's only eight tracks, isn't it? Something like that. I think we've named all of them. But um, um so there's Amazing, Love Lockdown, Welcome to Heartbreak, Paranoid, Robocop, uh Pinocchio Story, Street Lights. Street Lights. And I think there's there should be another one, right? Uh what's the one the last one? Coldest Winter. Coldest Winter, yeah. Oh, yeah, that one's cool too. That one resonates with me, but it's not my favorite song. When I listen to it, it, it just hits me because of, of, of a moment, but it's not like my but favorite. But the point is, Cuddy did that shit. Yeah. yeah. And like Cuddy, that's what I'm saying. Like, it, it, I don't count that as a Kanye album. Yeah. I count that as a Cuddy album. I go I go Day and Night, uh, Sky Might Fall, and then the, the, the album and Man on the Moon Cuddy. came out, oh, and that's when I really got into Cuddy. Like, I remember. You know, Cuddy on Two Dope Boys. Remember that site? <laughs> yeah. That was my shit. Downloading I love shit, Two Dope Boys. Uh, on uh, Two Dope Boys. And that's where I learned about Cuddy. Um, I learned Day and Night. Indicud. You say you like what you like off Indicud. Uh, I don't know the name of his tracks. But Indicud yeah. as a whole uh, was great. Um, fuck yeah, I, I like the song that he did with Short Dog. I see pretty yeah. girls. I like that one. No, I like the fact that he has songs with unconventional dudes. Yeah, like, Michael uh, uh, Michael Bolton song was great. The Michael Bolton song, <laughs> Bring good. Your Friends, Girl. Yeah. We should go. And then he has a song with the uh, Jesus loves. Uh, there's a there's a dude that actually sings that song. Jesus loves oh, girls or some shit like that. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ, girl. Yeah, there you I don't go. know who. The, I know he had the song with CeeLo on there, right? Mm-hmm. But Jesus Christ, I forgot who that was. That Demons album, I love the song. Uh, it's called uh, Demons, Rose Golden. Oh with, yeah, no. with Willow, with, with Willow Smith. Yeah, yeah. Oh. and I love the song with Andre Three Thousand. Yeah. Those two are I'm yeah. With those you are my standout songs you. on that album. Top, top two on that for me. And also, not for nothing, but uh, uh, Kids See Ghost is a great. Yeah, album. it was cool. Oh, that song uh, where uh, what's it called? Reborn. Be, oh, oh, Immortal off Immortal. Indica. Yeah, Immortal was great. Unfuck Whittable. Uh, Unfuck Whittable was. Oh. Kids See Ghost was probably other than uh. Push a tease was probably. I like that. That was great. The most. Yeah. You could, <laughs> noticeable you, you know, for skip sure. <laughs> on the seven songs, right? But Kissy Ghost, my second favorite. Cutting album. album? Oh. No, my second favorite album with that slew of releases. Like, oh, you yeah. Remember that Kanye? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Everybody had an album. Like it was Kissy Ghost, it was Kanye's album, yeah. the Yay. It was uh, uh, Tiana Pusha Taylor, T. Pusha T. Pusha T's number one. And for me. Nas. Uh, number one for me. Well, yeah, there's no skips on that shit. Fuck. And um, but Kissy Ghost is I'm, I could skip the most deaf song maybe, but uh, that was maybe another one. Excuse me, that was a uh, Yasin Bay. Yeah, Yasin Bay. <laughs> Sorry, it's not the most deaf. You know? Yeah, he's I, always that, the most Kanye deaf. album. Yeah. I like the beats on there. I mean, yeah, the the songs were like whatever, but the beats on that Kanye album mm-hmm. weren't bad at all. So you guys are excited for the oh yeah, uh, definitely, Man bro. On the Moon Man on the Moon too. The the mood he brought for the last couple of mm-hmm. tracks was amazing. Like, we that's drinking music right there, yeah. bro. Every I would, I would have to be the last five songs on that Men in the Moon two album. It's just like he really is the Lord of the Sad and Lonely, bro. Like mm-hmm. <laughs> that the music he has. Oh like, yeah, what do you want? What does Cuddy make you want to do? Kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes. Um. No. Like. Uh. I like Cuddy though. Like even though a lot of his music does kind of feel that way. But uh, I think he kind of did pave the way a little bit for like what we listen to now. Yeah. yeah. All the emo shit, all the... Emo shit, Quiet the singy kept... shit, like yeah. the, the harmonic shit. Because yeah. like I was listening to something, something the other day and uh, I forgot who, who heard it with me, but they were like, is he rapping or is he singing? Because mm-hmm. you, can't, you can't really tell, but I'm like, that's just, he's yeah. doing both, I guess. Yeah. But that was like Cuddy's shit. Yeah. It's like... I've heard Cuddy's like older shit and like what was it uh, a kid named Cuddy his mixtape mm-hmm. came out before his first album and that was dope, but like 
even off of that, like, you never knew, like, is he singing? Is he rapping? Like, he never spit bars, bars. But he was kind of a rapper. Like, it was just, it's hard to box. I and, won't be and that's And that's what everything is nowadays. Like, yeah, no, for sure. It's like people aren't rapping or nothing. And like, they love Cuddy. Those artists love Cuddy. I won't be surprised if he signed the NDA and he wrote most of Jaden's uh, past albums. Because Jaden has a very strong Cuddy influence in his music when you listen yeah. to it. So I'm, sometimes I'm like, well, his dad's rich enough. Like, you could purchase shit, but it's like an NDA where it's written by uh, Jaden. Uh, yeah. Or he's just really a big Cuddy fan and just emulates him really well. I'm kind of sad that, like, his uh, acting career, I'm not saying that, like, his <laughs> acting career didn't take off, but, like, it didn't take off to where... I thought like, or I wanted it to. Yeah, yeah bring, <laughs> you know, like, bring back Made in America. Yeah, he did uh, a How to job. make it in America? That too. I haven't yeah. seen this new <laughs> one, but he <laughs> had a. I think he had a bigger role back. in this. He was new a dad, right, HBO. on HBO show. He was a dad on this, Relax, this new one, right? <laughs> and yeah, yeah, on and uh, he was. Yeah. Uh, he was in Need for Speed, which didn't wasn't too good. <laughs> the video game? No, and he was in Entourage. He was, which I like, love the Entourage movie. I, I, I just watched it uh, last says. week. Yeah, I own it. Yeah, so do I. The fuck? Let's watch it together. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's put it on after this. <laughs> for yeah. whole um, thing. Look, this I think is gonna be a little fun for both of you. Okay. <laughs> look at this guy. <laughs> fuck it. Apple <laughs> releases <laughs> AirPod Maxes. Speaking of barbers. Yeah. Tell me why I go to my barber shop today. I thought I had an appointment at 12. 12. 12. And I get there, barber shop is closed. I'm like, yo, I think the barber shop is closed. I text Alex. <laughs> it's closed. I text, yo, I think it's closed. <laughs> and and Duh. and then I text my barber and I text or I look on the Instagram. I didn't know that because of the lockdown. I'm going to have to fucking have yeah. hair on the sides of my head mm-hmm. now for for a good minute. I, I can't get a fade. So this is the perfect time for me to grow my mullet. But you yeah. also, you had a, a, a barber problem. You text yeah. your barber, left you on red, you said. I text him, hit him up like, yo, I'm trying to get rid of this fro. Uh, not my, not my uh, asking. Someone else told me I got to get rid of it. And uh, yeah, he just never texts me back. Mm-hmm. Dickhead. I don't know if he's just not cutting or whatever, but uh, yeah, he just completely ignored me. Um, so shout out to you, Danny. Thank, thanks for ignoring me, you fucking dick. Um, but text me back. Yeah. Well, the thing about it was uh, Apple releases their AirPod Maxes, right, for $549. Rich tweets. $549,000. Uh, Rich tweets said, you, hey, you said, Yo, 500? Fuck that. Fuck that. A little too late. Yeah, because they're basically Beats headphones. Mm-hmm. They're Bluetooth headphones that go over your ear, and they connect, I guess, easily like the AirPods do or whatever, but they're just fucking Beats headphones. What the fuck are you selling them for $500 for? $500 when I can get like some quality headphones? I'm not, I'm not talking about Beats, because I know people don't mm-hmm. think those... Like audio files, which I hate that term, but audio files who like really listen to music don't think beats are good because they're just really bait. They're Same. really bass heavy. Same. I don't. Um, I I never like beats because they're just they're really not noise canceling. They don't. You could hear everything. But come if you out. get like some quality like Sennheisers or mm-hmm. Audio Technicas, yeah. Um, what else is a good headphone? Brand? Those are those are pretty good. I can't think of any others right now. But like for five hundred bucks, like who the fuck is Paying for headphones that the pricey. same people that have supported Apple for years, I guess <laughs> the sheeple. Yeah, the sheeple. Uh, and, and I'm the sure, shapples. and I'm sure they're gonna sell. I'm sure Whatever people. I'm sure people are gonna are gonna buy them. The same people that spend a hundred bucks on a fucking Apple pencil. Yeah, stay in line for that shit. Yeah, All they're gonna that. stay in line for those headphones. Well, I'm what does this pencil do? Fucking draw? I don't fucking know, but it's just draws a, for you. Well, every <laughs> accessory for Apple is all fucking expensive. Yeah, it, it's you it's get like a, fifty bucks for a charger. You get an right? iPod. You want to draw on that shit? All right. You got to get an Apple pencil. That shit so, is a hundred dollars. So are you still? Plus. Are you still like on this uh, train where it's like ah, uh, you got AirPods? You a douchebag? Like nah. AirPods for for me, they're sleek. 
their fucking Bluetooth. <laughs> they are awesome. They are. That's a game like changer. That. Are you a fucking infomercial? Yeah, it does sound like Okay, that. that's fine. And no, I'm not one of those people. But like, no, no, I don't want the over the head shit. I yeah. want the little shits that just go in my ears. Like, I could be low key with them. Like, yeah, but some, I could go like this and it pauses the music. I go like this and it changes the music. The noise canceling, though. That's the, what the over the he, over the ears get. Yeah, gives I you. mean, I'm not going on planes that much. Like, I ain't going in, you know, like. But I, I'm not one of those people that think, oh, you got AirPods, you're a douche. I don't think that. But I do think that these particular headphones, like, to sell them for mm-hmm. 500 mm-hmm. is kind of ridiculous. The best thing about AirPods and having AirPods and an Apple Watch is you don't have to take your phone with you. You can leave your phone at home. And if you want to go for a run, you got your watch, you got your AirPods on. You don't have that fucking bulky nothing in your pockets, but maybe your keys to get back inside. But is that because you have music on your watch? Yeah. Well, no, no. You got music. It's a it's a it's cloud. It's another phone line. It's a cloud. Watch yeah, yeah. Oh so, wait, you got the fucking line on your watch? Yeah. Yeah, you rich. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I don't because I can do that if too. If you have the ability to, because if I had money, if I had money, I'd be super techie. I have, I've had, I would have every fucking thing. I can do that on on my watch, but I gotta put, I gotta like it's upload, a bad addiction upload of the mine. music to my watch, and then oh, I can okay. do it. Um, but I mean, I guess it would be cool, and I guess I'm sure there's people that want the, these Apple headphones. I just don't think they're worth five hundred dollars. I think they're they're I I haven't used them or heard them, but I'm pretty sure. I could find better quality headphones for half the price. All right, I'm going to give you my five essentials to leave the house. I want you guys to give me yours as well. Dick. So, of course, it's the phone. Got to have it. Got to have the phone anytime I leave the house. Chapstick, gum. Um, I mean, this is other than clothes and shoes, right? So chapstick, <laughs> gum. <laughs> This is other than keys too. You gotta get back in the house, right? So, <laughs> what else do you? What 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 else do you? Well, I, I think my headphones, and of course now it's a mask. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. A With mask. COVID now, it's my mask. I gotta have my headphones. I, um, I mean, uh, anything other than the necessities of a wallet and keys. I really don't have any other uh, essentials. I, uh, I think when I leave the house, I go through a little check. I go, uh, phone, wallet. Keys, knife. Usually what I do. Mm-hmm. See, see, you got the knife. Um, yeah, I, I wish I had more, but I don't. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the, the that, only... That's usually all I need. I need my phone, because Avi. Mm-hmm. I need my wallet, because Avi. Keys, because you got to get back in the house. Um, and I always have a pocket knife on me just because it's... Yeah, if shit pops off. No, because it's <laughs> useful. I don't yeah. know. I just I, I like When do you ever use your knife on a daily basis? Uh, if we're being honest, just for fucking trivial shit like opening boxes of mail, um, but there have been times where it's like it's come in handy where it's like I need something to pick at something or I need something to. You, you need to threaten somebody and tell them about your dad. <laughs> or you, <laughs> you know my father. <laughs> <laughs> you know I got these scars. <laughs> no, it, it's just it's, it's a thing. My dad, uh, since I was a little kid. He always had a box cutter in his pocket or like a pocket knife. He yeah. he just kind of always had something on him. Now he always has like a multi tool or something like that or like a fucking Swiss Army knife. So I just ever since then always like had something on me. So as I got older and I was able to buy my own shit, I just always had one. I don't know. It's useful. It's you never know you need it until you need it and you're like glad you have it. Yeah. Because there have been plenty of times where I'm like, oh, you need to cut something? Cool. I got something to help you with that. And it's like, oh, I don't need money. And then you broke. and it's Fucking broke, boys. But yeah, I, I think those are the things, uh, the essential things. Obviously now a mask. Um, I think I, I don't like leaving without like a watch now. Mm-hmm. I, I feel what, weird without a watch. What about honorable mention? I think an honorable mention leaving the house is a water bottle. Yeah. Let me go Oh, plenty of times I'm driving. <laughs> no, I'm like no, no. fucking thirsty. I, 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 anytime I would leave the house before, I would always take a water bottle. Like even if I wouldn't drink it, and then I, it, I would be like leave, leave like a half a water bottle in the car, 
Yeah. Because the sun hit it, so oh, yeah. the sun hit the plastic. I can't drink this so shit. So you got plenty of yeah. half, <laughs> half open water yeah. in your car. Yeah. I, don't, I don't want plastic infused with my water. <laughs> are, are, do you throw them all out? Like yeah. at the end of the week, have to throw out all these empath and two as, bottles? Before, yeah. I also don't think I ever leave without like something on my head. Yeah. I always got a hat of some sort. Okay, see? Good. So that's another thing. That's another thing. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we, we, we say we the world from that. You ever, you ever, have you ever gone commando? Yeah, but never uh, on purpose. I mean, it be on purpose, but it's like accidental purpose. If we say like, "Oh shit, I can't take these draws home," <laughs> not Damn. now. Damn, you why not? <laughs> Back in the day, you know what I'm saying? Like, why? Why I gotta leave them? Well, because I ain't gonna fuck put these wet fucking. <laughs> Semen fucking do we, do we boxers explain back. On. Why in the <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, okay, let's let's just go ahead and Euro step past that one. Jesus Christ! Just leave them. <laughs> throw, them under, yeah, throw them under the bed. <laughs> where, I'm gonna, where I'm a bus? Where I'm a bus? You swear you me? Yeah. Throw them under the bed. Leave them there till you move. <laughs> I feel that. No, not that. Okay. Because I remember that story. You yeah. shit on the boxers, not come on the boxers. <laughs> <laughs> no, if I came on them, I'd probably hand wash them. <laughs> you can't hand wash shit. Dog. <laughs> That's a messy sitch. <laughs> yes, it's sitch. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, my friend Sitchy. <laughs> What's next? <laughs> Give me something. Um, fuck. What was I, I got you right here if you need it. Food no. and sex. <laughs> fuck. Uh, food and sex. You did bring this up and you said it was a thing. Um, is it a thing? I for you, it's not a thing for me. And anytime, look, there's been one time that I've ever tried to incorporate food and sex. I hate the the whole like whipped cream thing. Dog, I I let me just say, fuck, I don't, I don't even, even know good. if I just tell the story. But I, you know, for I, I'd rather put like Nutella on a nipple. To be <laughs> nope. to be transparent, <laughs> nope. You would nope. you don't you don't want Nutella on a nipple? I want to hear your story. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, Mike's uh, it's not a bad story. Trust well, me. You st- well, I don't know. You're the one who said maybe I shouldn't tell it. Well, because not nah, tell it. I'm okay, not just, saying just go ahead. I'm Enabler. not saying nothing but this. Okay. I wanted to be adventurous, right? So I I pulled out the blanket. I was like, all right, so we're gonna do our shit right here. I bought ice cream, whipped cream, uh, maybe some strawberries. I don't remember. All types of creams. This is this is. Creamsicles. This is way back, way back. Super far back. You know, so at least five years. No, nah, more than that. It's twenty. So but then like <laughs> twenty. I was ten. But then <laughs> but then but then like she wasn't down. She was like, What the fuck is all this? And I was like, Well, you know, like trying to get trying to get freaky, Ventures, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's like a picnic. It, it, I mean, it didn't go down like I thought it would. So, oh, so she let you, but it just didn't go down. No, it just didn't go oh, down. Okay, we just like it went down, but we ate the shit after. You know, <laughs> like, <laughs> hey, if, you if you don't take this cream cheese off my pussy, <laughs> god damn it, it's, it's not a real bagel. <laughs> it's too thick. I've never cream cheese is too thick. <laughs> I'm just trying to fucking lather that. Just. <laughs> And why'd you get locks? Yeah. Now my pussy smell like salmon again. <laughs> why are you trying to smear my pussy? <laughs> Don't smear the That's pussy. That's how you get schmegma. 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 You're nasty. Um, um, I've no, I've never used real like food, food like yeah. not really, just because I think it's. <laughs> I don't know. It's weird. It is weird. I don't think it's weird, but I've never had the chance to. Uh, the only thing that's happened to me is somebody used strawberry flavored like. Uh, what is it called? Lube. Yeah. To, Where to blow me? They oh they put it on your, on your pee pee. Yeah. And they put it. They ever put ice in the mouth to blow you? No, I've, I've heard. Of, what is it? The other one is <laughs> it's uh it's ice right? But it's another one. They is put it icy hot on your dick. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, oh. that's no fucking joke, bro. My my cousin used to play football. Right? Bro, he used to uh-huh. jack off using icy hot, right? Nah, <laughs> dog. He had some shit that wasn't icy hot, but he had some other shit that he said. It's just for your uh, muscles, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but this shit was not icy hot because I've had icy hot. Yeah. This was next level shit, and he's like, "All right, put some on your, put some on your hands." And really, kids, right? And he's my older cousin. I'm like fourteen. So I trust him. He's like sixteen. Just like the dude they used to, used to smash bears with. No, Excuse me? no, I was four. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, he <laughs> that wasn't my cousin. Okay. But 
this dude, my cousin, we used to smoke weed and fucking Snitch. like he used to tell me about he used to tell me about his football shit. Mm-hmm. And so like we used to play like PlayStation all night and fucking he had some uh, icy hot or whatever the fuck that shit was that football players use. I, I smeared it on my hands, I couldn't get it off my hands. I go to pee. Oh. I go to take a piss. Oh. That shit was, bro, I was on the floor like, you know when dogs fucking oh. scratch their ass? Like, I was like, ah, oh, fuck. Dog, that shit was hard. That you shit act like was... you used two hands. <sighs> Dog, some, some, you gotta fucking pull the balls to the side sometimes, you know? It's like, sometimes you use two hands. You don't ever use two hands for your dick. When I pee? Yeah. Not really. I just kind of pull down and let it do what it do, baby. Oh, you just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wherever it goes, it's like when you turn the water on on the hose, and you kind of just let it fucking flop everywhere. That's my. That's what my tub is pissed on. <laughs> <laughs> you caught me. That's you my, got me, partner. That's, that's why my toilet paper is wet. <laughs> Listen. Uh, we're done. Combos at the <laughs> condo, episode ninety-seven. Razzy in the building, definitely in the building. Rich. Fuck you, why you even said anything? Yeah, it's Big Mike not being on the mic. <laughs> it's me. It me. He I, I, I hope people would say that like uh, for a while, like just a little bit ago, people would go, it me. <laughs> it's me, bitch. Shut up.